Two men round the grounds before we get this one underway. Yeah, round the grounds. St Kilda leading the Lions by 45 points. Early stages, final quarter. And once we wrap this one up, we're going to send you to Perth because you'll hear the second half of Fremantle and the Bulldogs. So an opening bounce. His moments away. Pitnet up against Grundy for McDonald's. Triple M rocks footy. Pitnet got it and then Grundy had a crack at it. Crisp handball. Pendlebury laid it off by Hander to Goey. Slaps it out with an inverted torpedo to the outer half forward flank. Tracking at the two number sixes. Gibson and Gold Sack. Ball goes out of bounds and the umpires called that deliberate. That is a bad call. So Josh Gibson, the beneficiary of that. Put in the Jure to Birchall. All handballs. Birchall long handball backwards now. As Hawthorne looked to come out of defence. Wide ball looking for Frawley. He'll get there. Mark it right in front of the MCC members. So Hawthorne in this first quarter. Kicking to the punt road end. Coming to the city end. Kick to Bruce is good. Bruce takes a mark even though Maynard made it difficult for him. On the half back line. So they've come from the south side to the north side. And now Bruce sends it back to the south side. To Isaac Smith it's an half back. Back to Gibson where it all started. The run of Jurey on the half back flank. And now they find a way through. Good ball to show and makers. He marks on half forward. Duck said he was playing up forward and there he is. Short ball, opportunity, mark taken here. Hill got back inside. Nice cutting move. Good kick to Fitzpatrick on the lead. And the big fella marks. 40 metres out on a 40 degree, 45 degree angle. Well, saw him play a few games for Melbourne BT. He hasn't played for a while, but he was quite capable of doing exactly what he did just there. And that is give them a big target and a big presence inside forward 50. Good lead, good kick. I think he's related to the statue, Lee Matthews, uh, Fitzy. Well. I think so. Good breeding. Here he is, 45 metres out. I'm not sure there's blood in it. Uh, <laughs> as it goes off to the right-hand side. Well, and, and that's a miss for well, Big Fitzy. Well, so it's not then, is it? There's no doubt that the match committee at Hawthorne have said we need to try these guys because if we're going to go through a final series, we may need one or both of them. Yep. He's, got... uh, he's kicked four goals in a game, Big Fitzy, before. Well, if he kicked four today, Duck, he's going to be a strong consideration for two weeks' time. And Maynard just goes short to Varka. In fact, whoever plays best out of these two Hawthorne Ruckman today gets the nod for yep. the final. I thought so. Side bottom. Takes the mark, left half back flank, early stages, Hawthorne by a point. Just over two play to the opening term. Triple MCG, side bottom corralled, handball off to Pendlebury. Lowers the vision, spots his man on the southern wing. It's the pig, Greenwood, wobbles the ball to Crisp. Moves it on quickly from the southern wing, driving ball to Gold Sack. Had a big leap at it, had a clean piece of it, couldn't take the mark, Jurey. Gives it off to Schoenmakers, who's drifted back into defence now. Got around his man and then wobbled it straight to Greenwood, who takes the mark. And he thought about playing on, and in the end he did. He went straight to the corridor and found an opportunity there. Mark taken by Phillips. So Phillips, 55 metres out, goes even wider to Varco, who's still 55 out. City end, working it around the horseshoe. Now Varco goes into the little wee man, Blair. And Blair is marked 25 metres out on a very acute angle. His umpire Jordan Bannister sets the angle. One of the best in the business. Umpiring with Luke Farmer and Reza Ray Chamberlain. I'll tell you what, it was a clever kick, wasn't it? Yep. From Varco and uh, Hawthorne players. Jordan Lewis standing on the mark, but all the Hawthorne players just looking around, not sure how he found that space. 143rd game for Jared Blair. Tough kick. He's bent it nicely, though. It's a good kick. So Collingwood get the first goal of the game. One straight, Hawthorne one behind. Ego outdoor power equipment scoreboard. Well, Blair, the goal kicker. Yeah, it might have been, uh, might have been Burton from the Hawks that uh, just trailed Blair in there. BT just wasn't quite uh, on the ball. Was there for a while, and uh, well, a little bit of uh, bruise-free uh, footy today, uh, boys. Mm. The start of this game, twenty-six. Uh, What's that, Jim? 26 possessions in total, Duck. 26 only possessions. See, for Hawthorne, and only three contested in that 26. For Hawthorne, the first half's the most important because when a team's not competing for finals, the second half can become hard work mm. for a side, can't it? Yep. Five-point lead to the Pies. Blair, the only goal scorer for McDonald's. Triple M rocks footy. Trelaw buffeted off the ball. Pew up low. Fires a handball out for Hill. Mitchell, another handball. Birchall, the one-two. He dodges, he weaves, he evades. And then he delivers beautifully to Bruce, who's under some heat from Barco. Good spoil. Went back, gathered it. And they link up nicely. Greenwood floats a handball over towards side bottom. Couldn't hit the target. Burgoyne steps it out of bounds on the southern wing. 
Hawks trail by five, almost five gone at the opening term. And there's on the Triple M Ego Outdoor Power Equipment scoreboard. Boundary throw in on centre wing. Southern stand side. Gee, that boundary throw in fell real short. Grundy had to whip up some speed to get to it. Knocked it to side bottom. Kicked it along the boundary line. It goes over the line out of bounds. We'll give this boundary umpire one more go. And if he's no go this time, we'll swap him over. <laughs> because he needs to get some penetration in his swing here. Still on the wing on the southern stand side. That's marginally better. Hodge, third man up. Beautiful tap to Mitchell. Mitchell, the extractor, did it brilliantly to Burgoyne. Burgoyne's kick sideways to Birchall. Now they go forwards. Long handball into the centre square to Jeray. Jeray, a kick wide to Schoenmakers. Got one on the left half forward flank. Now got one on the right half forward flank. The kick to the lead of Gunston. And Gunston marks 55 out. He's kicking in the middle. He's off the instep. Even though Jordan Lewis was waiting its arrival and should have been given the ball on a platter. Yeah, Wills took the mark. He's been a fine for the Pies. A low ball to Smith from side bottom. Couldn't take it cleanly. Went back, got it. Grundy had a big second half. Links up with Wills who charges off half back. Handball to Chris. Keen to move it on by hand. Weave through heavy traffic. Scrubs the ball towards his half forward man. That is Cloak pushed off the ball. Hawks have numbers. Gibson handball back. Jeray the heat from Goldsack. Good. But got him high with a careless tackle off half back. So Jeray the recipient of the free for that careless tackle. Beautiful ball to the centre square to Lewis. Lewis to the long striding Isaac Smith. He hammers a wobbler in favour of Bruce. Got a really bad bounce. Fitzpatrick should have knocked it towards goal. He didn't. He knocked it into his own path so he could have a second Bobby, crack. Hawthorne. And a free kick will go the way of Fitzpatrick now. He is in the identical to position to where he missed a goal from a moment ago. And he's only 40 metres out directly in front here, Fitzpatrick. Now, if he'd kicked the goal a moment ago and he was given this opportunity as well, boy, that's gone a long way to doing the job. But well, he's, he's not. Well, he's had a side up. Yep. So here he is, Fitzpatrick, punt road end. Close to the man on the mark, awkward kicking style, got it. Look at the Hawthorne players get the big Fitzy. They come from everywhere. And he kicks his first goal at Hawthorne. 117 Hawthorne, Collingwood 1 straight 6. He go out to a power equipment scoreboard. Well, that's what they want from uh, these big men. And you're right, they want to see whether Schwatter, they can play forward and do exactly that, be the big target. Followed up, got the free kick in the end. But uh, that's, a, that's a great start for him. Two men round the grounds and give us a ladder percentage gap between the Brisbane Lions and the Bombers. So he's 63 points in favour of the Saints over Brisbane. But in terms of percentage points, point one of a percent separates Brisbane and Essendon. So Brisbane still sitting 17th, Bombers 18th. How long to go? How long to go? 13.41. Smother from Hodge off Pendlesbury. 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 Pendlebury's brute was outstanding. It's easy to say. For some, not for me. Ball to half forward, Smith. Hodge puts his body on the line. Bobbles around, ricochets off the shins and legs of plenty of players. Marsh got boot to ball. Hacked it towards Grundy. Wanted to go the man. Quick kick from Pittnett inside 50. Howe with a big fly. Bruce comes by, couldn't take it. Under real heat here, the Pies, but they steady. And they steady well. Phillips takes the mark and goes very short to side bottom. He two marks inside the defensive 50 here. Still side bottom. Now goes sideways with a kick. Finds an opportunity here with Maynard, drilling ball. Finds Greenwood. Greenwood just short of the wing here on the southern stand side. All of the play has been on that side of the ground here at the moment. Short little kick over the top to Pendlebury. And Pendlebury, the Collingwood skipper, takes the mark. Had another good year, Scott Pendlebury. Maybe just misses the All-Australian side, in my view. High ball, off hands, comes to Blair, the wee man inside 50. Took him on, got caught in the tackle. Burgoyne nailed him. It should have been incorrect disposal. The umpire calls play on, knocked out the tackle. Then White threw the ball. He literally handed the ball. Surely to Crocker. Crocker Jordan, kicks the goal. Jordan, good process. Would have had to have been a throw. Two straight 12, Collingwood. Hawthorne, one one seven. Crocker goals. Well, they're on here, the Pies. They are really on. Taking it up to the Hawks. Just... Uh, Looking at the Chemist Warehouse replay screen. Just waiting for that uh, replay, BT. Yeah, well, it'll come after the ad break, Doug. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> that's why I'm waiting for it. All right. Okay. And, uh, here it comes now. And uh, it was uh, Blair got rid of it. White picks it up. 
and threw it. So uh, lucky there to get away with that. Yes, Swan around the ground. St Kilda a goal. They're up by 69 points. So what it means is Brisbane is sitting 18th on the ladder as we speak. Mark taken by March. He looks all right, this bloke. Yeah. PT, do you like him, March? Yeah, I do. Confident kid. Brings it out wide to side bottom. Still side bottom. Hard yakker stats five already. Five point lead to the Pies. Two straight to 117. Frio and the Bulldogs, the final game of the home and away for this year coming up. You hear the entire second half once we wrap it up and send you over there. Marley Williams wobbles the ball out towards Brody Grundy. Did him no favours. He was free and in space. Ball goes out of bounds, left half forward flank. So, Ash, in that other game that's been played St Kilda Brisbane for the number one draft pick, I want you to tell me and keep an eye out who's off the ground in these closing ten minutes because that will be significant. Other guns sitting on the sure. bench for either side. Let's keep an eye on that. Beautiful palm down to Pendlebury from the wing. Got it up to half forward. Cloak dropped the mark. Probably should have taken. Tries to follow up his own ground level ball. Couldn't get that either. Pendlebury had a crack at it. He too couldn't get it. In the back. Shields. And are you telling me that that game is oscillating uh, score by score and they're swapping 17 and 18 position? <laughs> You're spot on uh, BT. So Brisbane currently 18th on the ladder, but Walker's having a set shot for goal, so they'll move up to 17th if he nails it. Imagine if you're having a set shot in the last minute of the game, and the runner comes out and just has a bow peep in your ear and says, make sure you miss it. <laughs> uh, it could happen. Here's Whitecross. Been really happy with his inclusion into the side in the last five or six weeks. Kick out wide to makers. Thought he got a trip. Umpire said no, and I agree. Ace picked up the crumb. Handball to Varco. Varco, another impressive year for Collingwood. Little one to Marley Williams, start of the day on the pine. Now Varco thought about going forward, said no, I'll go backwards to Maynard. Maynard marks defensive 50, and now on his left boot finds Grundy. Yeah, got a man out, which is Phillips. He can hit the gas once he takes the mark and goes short and does. Very low ball. The mark is taken by Crocker. Handball back to Phillips. He'll think about laying one off to Pendlebury and eventually does. He was under a bit of pressure. Pendlebury feigned the kick. Got around Piuopolo. Two cheeky bounces from the skipper. Now kicks the ball low on the stretch. Billy Hartung. I thought the ball was going to carry to Dugowie, but Billy had better ideas and he took the mark. Gives a handball off to Lewis and he chips it out wide and the mark will be taken almost on that occasion by Sicily. Beautiful kick it was by Lewis, but Sicily coughed it up and he cost them immediately going towards goal. Now they have to go backwards and back from the north to the south side. Whitecross, defensive goal square here. Has got the ball, short kick, finds Sicily. Sicily goes straight up the middle with a beautifully penetrating ball to Shields. He shifts off the handball to the left foot of Gibson. Had to get around the sack and then went extremely wide to Schoenmakers, who marks right in front of the Collingwood bench. Been good so far, Schoenmakers. Look at that for a kick. It's an absolute ripper. Got it into Pinnanet. Pinnanet, 55 metres out, called to go. High ball, top of the square. Not to the advantage of Hawthorne at all. And uh, Howe out the back door. Poor kick along the ground. Hartung tries to get a handball. Pressure from behind was good. Birchall storms inside 50. Arcing ball on its way. Pushes it to the near side of behind. 1, 2, 8, 2 straight, 12, 4-point lead to the Pies. 13 gone opening term, Triple M, Ego Outdoor Power Equipment, scoreboard around the grounds. Yeah, Brisbane have kicked two goals in a row thanks to Walker. So they're sitting 17th on the ladder. They're about 0.4 of a percent ahead of Essendon, who's sitting 18. So each score is having an impact on the percentage and the draft pick. Amazing finish at the bottom, like there is at the top. Now Aish, not sure what to do with it. Kicks the ball deep inside 50. Cloak, both hands on it again. Really should have marked it. He really should have dwarfed Whitecross in the one-on-one -on -one contest. But he couldn't get it. Goes to ground and will have a ball up. Go through. Attacking 50, Collingwood. He should have monstered Whitecross then, Cloak. Ball up here, side bottom goes to get it. Little handball out, didn't get any great penetration in it. Trying to bounce out with the ball there was Wills. I'm playing close play on. Luke Hodge had a kick in danger, and so the free kick will go to Chris. 55 out. 55 out. Around the grounds, Ash. Yeah, so Rewald has nailed a major. So we'll just get the live ladder in two ticks, guys, as it refreshes. Here we go. So the live ladder reads, Brisbane still sitting 17th, 0.26 of a percent ahead of Essendon. Oh, Nick sure. Rewald's had a day out. How many has he kicked two men? Yeah, Rewald uh, for hard yakka. So I have a quick look here. He's kicked uh, oh eight goals. Eight goals, one for Rewald. Big day for Rui. And Dagoe took the mark 25 metres out. Slide angle lead by four. It's for a 10-point lead. Kick is on its way. Pies have three straight in the book. And the Hawks 1-2-8.
Ego Outdoor Power Equipment scoreboard, 56 volts of power beyond belief, almost 15 gone opening term, Pies lead by 10. Well, this has been a really sharp start by the Pies. They're on BT, and you can see the Hawks. You can see what the Hawks are trying to do, but when their pressure is good, the Pies, just tur- what are the turnovers? Two men? Yeah, turnover, hard yakka stats is eight to Hawthorne, only five to the Magpies. Well, making the most of it, the Pies. They are indeed. Let's go around the grounds uh, again, Ash. Yeah, so around the grounds, we've got St Kilda leading by 63 points, but more importantly, BT, that live ladder. We've got Brisbane sitting 17th. They're 0.26 of a percent ahead of Don't Essendon. really care so much about the scores. When we go back to your next, Ash, uh, next times, can you just give us who's got the number one pick and who hasn't scored? Sure, no worries. So that's uh, really where, the, uh, where it is in that game, isn't yep. it? Yep. Uh, to be perfectly frank with you, Ash, not wanting to uh, dampen your enthusiasm for wanting to give the score. Uh, let's go down to the boundary. Uh, Mickey uh, Roberts, shall be power special. I tell, you what, I tell you what Hawthorne are actually having a look at. Showmakers, Fitzpatrick, Burton and Pitternet. Gee, they're rotating them through the uh, the bench, BT. Oh boy, crisp. Uh, well done, Robbo. Goes down there towards Cloak. One hand up again. This time against Frawley. Rioli's got him from the front. And Frawley's got him from the back. They gang tackle him. They maul him. Throw him to the ground. Lewis calls play on. Rioli got the ball out there. Quick little ball to Shields. Bounced along the ground. Gee, Sicily didn't get down. Get hard and get dirty. Dirty, mate. Handball comes to Sicily. Looking like he just wants to play a little bit of a Nick Del Sano game at the moment. Boy, Puopolo knocked it up in the air. Marley Williams went and got it. Centre half back took the mark for the Pies. Yeah, he's just playing a more physical game of footy here at the moment, the Pies do. They are. And that's when they're, when they're playing like that, yeah. they're hard to beat. They have come here to play today, the Pies. Cloak kicks into the man on the mark. It falls into the waiting arms of Frawley. Drops it long, but there's three Pies and one Hawk. And the only Hawk is Gunston. So mopping up will be Howe, flicks a handball inboard to March, can go to the top of the goal square to Marley Williams, can deliver it nicely to Varco. They've got men out, they're working harder here, good separation. Reward's got to go to Grundy, but that gets ignored, goes straight up the height of little. Crocker takes the mark from Varco's kick. But he just sends it back to where it all started with Jeremy Howe, and Howe takes the mark at half back. He now goes for the northern wing. Side bottom will make good ground on this. Got Chris there if he wants, ignores him. Pine said you've run off your mark, play on, goes backwards with a kick to Chalor. Couldn't get down on all fours to make it work. Isaac picks, Smith picks it up and he was nailed in a good tackle by side bottom. The ball didn't spill loose and he had no prior. And umpire Razor Ray, who goes through a whistle a week, <laughs> says we'll ball it up here on the half forward line for Hawthorne. Pinnanet was there, knocked down here in favour of Lewis. He was pushed over the line. One of the free, but nothing coming from Ray. And we'll throw it in 65 out from Hawthorne's goal. Around the grounds, what's happening? Yeah, Nick Rewald, boys, has just nailed his ninth major. So number one draft pick still goes to the Bombers. Only just, though, Grundy tumbles the ball, but into the waiting hands of Birchall puts it inside 50. Good work by that occasion was Brown. Trelaw might have been taken high by Sicily. They pile in on top. Well, the umpire will say I'll have it. And I'll throw it up 48 out from the Hawks goal. Geez, big source merit uh, not having his <laughs> best of uh, games in his last one. Oh boy. Equal PB to Nick Rewalt with nine. Hodge just drifts off the back of the pack, spins out, and then puts it on the boot like he did in the grand final a couple of years ago. Couldn't bring it through. In fact, it goes out of bounds on the full. So it's a 1 2 8 to 3 straight 18 scoreboard. Collingwood's way, 18 and a half gone. Ego Outdoor Power Equipment scoreboard. Just conceded nine today, Source. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Uh, Marsh from the back pocket goes down the line, wide over the top, couldn't mark. Fitzpatrick or Pennanet in front it was, in fact, did well. Crisp got it to Goldsack. Goldsack, little handball to Crocker. Crocker now to side bottom. Side bottom went for the low hard ball to Grundy. Was never going to get there. Burgoyne worried him out of it. Sold the handball, then got it nicely to Shields. He too sold one out the back door and instead kicked it forward. And it's a good looking ball in there. Couldn't quite mark it, Sicily. Again, I just want to see him attack the ball more aggressively, Sicily. Look at that. He didn't like the confrontation with Marley Williams. Sicily. If you're going to play in finals, you've got to get stronger than that. Side bottom, handball to Goldsack. Goldsack right in front of the bench. Nice ball inside to White. And Jesse White takes the marks and half forward. kick, BT. I don't think I've ever said this, but Hawthorne playing a soft game of footy. Cloak gets rid of his man and takes the mark. Duck, it's almost as if Hawthorne just want to get through unscathed at the moment. Yeah, and that's exactly what Cloak should do to Birchall. He should outmark Birchall, shouldn't he? Yep. That was, uh, well, good early use of the body, just the hand. Probably lucky not to give away a free kick. Had a handful of jumper on Birchall, but 
Robbo Sisley coming off as well. I want you to see if he goes to the phone in a minute. Really good kick from Goldsack to Jesse it White. The brilliant. kick is on its way, but he pulls it to the near side. A behind. 3 one 128 Ego Outdoor Power Equipment scoreboard. Robbo's right behind the Hawks bench now. Straight on the phone. Straight. I'm big monkey. Robbo, just, you yep. know what will be said to him, don't you? Absolutely. Stick your head over the pill, yep. BT. Exactly. Go, go harder and stronger. That would be the message from Clarko if you want to play finals virtual because that won't get it done in the final, young man. Here's White Cross from the kick-in. Scores here. Hawthorne one 2 8 Collingwood fast starters. 3-1-19. Into red time here in the first quarter. Good crowd building. High ball. Jeremy Howe. Oh! Big grab. Massive grab. Over the top of Pinnanet. Might be the uh, mark of the year. There's a ripper. Howe now goes inside looking for the sack. Up they fly. No winner in the air. Off hands it comes. Little squeezy trigger ball found Lewis. Jordan Lewis marks it half back here for yep. Hawthorne. Gold sack is down. He backed back into the pack courageously. He's hunched over winded. on his all fours. Just winded. Yep. He's not afraid of putting his body yes. on the line. Courageous, isn't he? That he was is. a great kick swatter before by him to Wyatt. Yep. So Burgoyne's got it. Just give us some numbers. Low ones for Hawthorne's key playmakers, Ash. Yeah, hard yak of stats, uh, Swatter. We've got Luke Hodge, just the one possession, Make along with Brad Hill with only two. What about Mitchell? Sam Mitchell's racked up six. All right, he's had a bit of it then. Gunston gives a handball towards Mitchell. Couldn't find the tugger. They simply want the egg at more the pies here at the moment. And Smith works hard. Rioli got him well with a barnstorming late charging tackle. Moves it on quickly. Men inside the paint. And Bruce takes the mark. 48 out. 45 degree angle. Punt road end. Hawks trail by 11. So I reckon it's a, quick, Cyril, it's a Cyril. quick whistle yeah, for was. Cyril. Real I, quick. I reckon it was knocked out of the yeah, tackle. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Oh, that was a little bit lucky. So Bruce can line up for the Hawks' second goal. They've been out hunted here so far in the opening turn. They trail by 11 for his first from 49. It's on its way. He's a very good kick of the footy. And the Hawks get their second goal. And the margin's back to a manageable five points. 2 2 14 to the Pies. 3 1 19. 22 goal on opening term. Triple M Ego Outdoor Power Equipment scoreboard. Well, the umpires, uh, when they see Cyril, they get a little bit uh, excited like us too, BT. Yeah, a little aroused. And uh, they see him go to a tackle and <laughs> the whistle went. I didn't think, I thought it was really harsh. Bob Jane, T-Marks, Robbo. Uh, yeah, Goldsack wanted to stay on BT, hit the ground heavy and then back him back into that pack. They've called him off. He's in the hands of the physio now. Scoreboard here. 3 one nineteen. Collingwood. Hawthorne 2 2 14. Let's go around the grounds, Ash. Yes, and then still have the number one draft pick as we speak. 4 40 remaining in the game. It's still oscillating, though. It is, PT. Is that a word? Back on the middle. Farmer. Ash. Sounds good. Up over there. Opportunity. Knockdown. Fitzpatrick spills here. Opportunity for uh, Collingwood to go forward through Wills. Got it to St. Arford. Good looking ball there. Umpires called play on it. Crocker made him go, so he had to give a quick handball to side bottom. Spearing ball to Dugowie. And Dugowie is marked. 50 metres out, he's a big kick. Dugowie, he wants to go. He's ignored Varco, who could have got it on the run. And now Varco says to Dugowie, he says, mate, you ignored me. Now you've got to kick the goal. He's already got one, Dugowie. He'll have to kick this one from about 51 out. Kick on the way to the city end. A good hoist to the footy. A big hoist to the footy. Dugowie's got two. Collingwood kick their fourth. 4-1-25. Hawthorne 2-2-14. Ego outdoor power equipment scoreboard. Well, it was a great strike of the footy, wasn't it? Knew he had the distance. I love that. I love when a player has the confidence to go back. He knows He knows his capabilities. Summed it up beautifully. Around the grounds, two men. Yeah, around the grounds. Essendon still have the number one draft pick. We have... 4.15 remaining. Players on the bench, as BT asked before for Brisbane, two men. Yeah, on the bench we've got Daniel Rich, Taylor, Hipwood and Hamelman. All right, very good. Not exactly full of uh, stars. Well. Don't have many, Brian. No. So true. they could do with one with the number one draft pick. True. So it's 11-point lead to the Pies. They've come to play. It's their final four quarters of footy this year. Nice bounce, Razor Ray. Grundy leapt high over the top. Crisp overruns it. Charging hard off the line was Blair. Couldn't get it, but Mitchell could. Got a handball off to Whitecross. Drilling ball to Sicily. Presentation and hands was good. Took it on the northern wing. He's keen to move it on. He'll 
punch it inside 50 towards Schoenmakers and Brown. Spoil from Brown. Maynard, intelligent tap. Got it to Phillips. Love the use of handball. Wills runs into a man, almost Burgoyne. Handball back to Phillips. Quickly shovels it on the boot. Blair will fly. Sicily was spoiled. Cloak arrives. Willing commitment from all the pies at the moment. And we'll have it thrown up on the left half forward. Northern punt road end flank with the Pies leading 14-25. to 25. There you go, Outdoor Power Equipment scoreboard. Fitzpatrick sets himself for the ruck for Hawthorne. And the late news is that McAvoy was out of this side. Pennanet came in to replace him. And two new ruckmen out there for Hawthorne. Mitchell, beautiful ham on a Burgoyne. Set sail from 50 metres out. Punt road in. Didn't quite get it. Bruce there couldn't mark. Good spoil in the end for the Pies. Over the line. I think it might be a rush behind it is. So 4-2. 4-1-25 Collingwood to 2-3-15 Hawthorne on the Ego Outdoor Power Equipment scoreboard. Yeah, I just saw a replay a minute ago of the Jeremy Howe mark on the Triple M Chemist Warehouse replay screen. Chemist Warehouse, the home of real brands and real savings. Great start to the Magpies. Cloak launches himself at it. Halfback couldn't take the mark. Pendlebury squeezed a handball to Phillips, who's had a bit of it. Five touches. Off to Howe and Wills. I love this kid. Plays it the old-fashioned way to the runner. It's Brody Grunny. Can switch it out wide if he wants. Goes to Chris. Straight through the middle. Drives it long Four over the top of his man getting back there was Burton desperately soccers it through for a rush behind poor self eyes are opening up the Hawks here 26 playing 15 almost 26 gone on the Ego Outdoor Power Equipment scoreboard he went for goal over the top didn't get the distance when he had a Collingwood player in the open he just had to put it over the top and he didn't now Smith under pressure spills to Gibson Gibson a little handball to Frawley Frawley back to Isaac Smith running down the southern wing he looks outside and sees something he likes big opportunity here for the Hawks as they hammer the ball from Sicily inside 50 to Brust and Brust has taken the mark 30 metres out right on the perimeter piping here but he's on the left footer side for a right footer so he's got the decision right foot Nana play on or around on the left and he plays on and he finds Puopolo who's hurt his shoulder so Puopolo in a heavy tackle in taking that mark has got up a little proppy now he's a strong little unit he's going to take the kick looks okay and Puopolo who's a set shot wizard 16-8 this year and here he is 25 metres out on an acute angle with 17 seconds remaining on the clock for Hawthorne to draw closer he misses 2-4-16 Hawthorne Collingwood 4 Two twenty-six. 26 Ego Outdoor Power Equipment Scoreboard. Let's go around the grounds, Ash. Yeah, Essendon will secure the number one draft pick. There's only two minutes remaining, and the Lions are virtually almost a percent in front of the same. A lot of time here at the Triple MCG, and it's been a bright start to the Magpies. 4 2 26 to the Hawks, 2 4 16. Just repeat that score, please, Ash. You did he had. Lady Head Stadium breeze, the scoreline, St Kilda 24-11, 155, Lady Brisbane by 53 points, 15-12, 102, Bombers looking good for the number one draft pick. Ten point lead to the Pies at the MCG, quarter time for McDonald's, Triple M, Rocks footy. Quarter time here at the MCG, Hawthorne Trail, Collingwood 2 4 16, Hawthorne, Collingwood 4 2 26, so the Pies by ten points at quarter time. Uh, as just want to go around the grounds where Nick Rewald has taken 21 marks oh, oh. and kicked nine goals. It's amazing, which is an equal PB for him. So it's full time St Kilda defeating Brisbane by 58 points. So what it means is, BT, the Bombers have secured the number one pick. Okay, it's as simple as that. Hard yep. yakker stats here, Ash. Still side bottom, number one ranked player on the ground with 12 disposals. That's Bob Jane T-Marts, Mickey Roberts. Uh, Goldsack, okay, got the wind knocked out of him, BT, but he, he's up and about. A big crowd in too, it's... A nice little finals fever down here, and I'm looking at, uh, they're getting a bake, Hawthorne. They're getting a real rev up by L. Clarkson, and I reckon Sicily's amongst that, BT. Shell V Power, special comments. Here's Wayne Carey on Triple M footy. Well, good good quarter by Collingwood, wasn't it? They bought their A game, they put the Hawks under pressure, and all of a sudden the Hawks, well, they looked lost at times. They didn't know what to do too, man. What, what did you say the turnovers were? Hawthorne had more turnovers, but clearly uh, Collingwood made them pay on the scoreboard a couple of times that uh, they've, they've bought their A game and all of a sudden you can just see a few of the Hawks and they've got a they've got a uh, inexperienced team in today in comparison to what they've had over other years and 
She's starting to make a few mistakes you don't normally see them make. McAvoy, a late withdrawal. Two new Ruckman in today. Pinanet and Fitzpatrick today for Hawthorne. Ash Chua, just the ramifications uh, for those that have just joined us on Triple M Football here for this game here today, Hawthorne and Collingwood, but particularly for Hawthorne. Yeah, in a nutshell, Hawthorne win today. They'll secure the double chance sitting, sitting third on the ladder. If they to lose, they either finish sixth or seventh or play off in an elimination final against and, the Bulldogs. And who benefits today biggest if Hawthorne lose? Adelaide Crows, because they're currently sitting fourth on the live ladder, and that's where they'll sit if the Hawks lose. So they'll be home cheering this one on, Swatter, I would have thought. Be big time, BT. Second term about to get underway. Pies to the punt road end. A great start to the Magpies. Lead by 10. For McDonald's Triple M Rocks footy, Grundy tries to get it to draw. The big guns combine. Hodge, handball to Mitchell, uh, missed the handball target of Puopolo. Trelaw gets back in support, spins out of trouble. Weave the handball to Penderbury, back to Trelaw, and they work it through the middle of the ground. This is bold, confident footy. Crisp, delivery to White, nice footy. Fain the handball, got cloak wide on the fat side, kick over the top to Greenwood. Curry shown, took a good mark, copped a bit of a head massage on the way down too. Good footy, nice start to the second term, duck for the Pies. Is Gibson in trouble here? That's a, uh, well, we'll have a look at the Chemist Warehouse replay screen. We saw Sloan get rubbed out last week. Oh, he's gone. I reckon. I reckon. He got him with the elbow. Well, there is no difference. It's no worse than Sloan. There's no worse than Sloan's, I agree. But guess what? Greenwood's got no claret. And that's yeah, that's what, true. And that's, what's, and that's what saves Gibson. That, I think he's fine. I reckon he still might. Grazing blow to the head. But Greenwood gets up and he has a chance to put him out to a 16-point buffer. And he pushes it to the far side. A bad miss. No, he's got it through. Thought the way he reacted after he put the ball on the boot was it was going through for a behind. But more importantly, it's straight. Just. They lead by 16. 5-2, 32 to 2-4-16. Just over a minute. Play to the second term. National Crime Check scoreboard. Pies lead. Gee, I reckon uh, Gibson is uh, well, it's certainly going to be looked at. And there'll be comparisons made. Uh, the only thing, as Duck has pointed out, is there was no injury got up to take his kick. Yeah, exactly right, and that's the uh, and that's the difference. And I, I think last week Ebert's evidence didn't help um, Sloan at all. Well, have a, have cross a listen, rival. I'm just having another have a listen to the buzz going around the crowd here. They're chemist, watching it on the screen yeah, at the moment. Chemist uh, Warehouse replay screen, watching it again. Oh, it's a bit of a clip around the ear. It'll be considered low imp- low. Uh, it might low be a, it might be a week down to nothing depending on his uh, record there, but boy. Well, Sloan had never been reported before. Yeah, well, he'll have a nervous one. Well, that's right. So uh, here we go with Greenwood again, who's playing well today, Ash. Yeah, he's had seven hard yakkers and a major. Yep, so here he is now, just four to the wing, with Collingwood kicking to the punt road end here in the second quarter. Goes wide looking for Goldsack, couldn't mark it, and Birchall happy to concede the battle line. The umpire said it was out of bounds and he full. And Birchall says, didn't touch my boot. And he's right, didn't touch his boot. So the umpires will converge here. Let's listen. What did you think? I saw this go out in the pool. It came off the hand. Yeah. Okay. Throw yeah. it in. Yeah, throw quite it in. right, umpire. It wait, came wait off the hand. Take their positions, buddy. Wait, Graham. Graham is waiting to throw in. The boundary umpire furthest away came into the boundary umpire closest and said, mate, didn't come off the boot. It came off the hand. And he's 100% right. Yeah, good umpiring. Well done. Hooks are off their game here at the minute. Pies have been very good lead by 16. Three played, second term. Hodge, third man up. Bouncing through into a strong Isaac Smith t- tackle was Jared Blair. And we'll have it thrown up. 55 out from the Pies goal. Punt road in. Is that a uh, that boundary umpire there, BT? Uh, young Richard Wilkins? Oh, he's got a bit of Richard Wilkins about him. Let's see if he's got Richard's form. <laughs> Gives a handball off to Crisp. A hurried kick out of bounds on the full. So Burton to bring it back in deep inside his defensive 50. And Mitchell gets up, holding the left side of his jaw. Yes. That from? There are lots of chapters to play out here today. Believe me, Birchall, short ball to Hartung. Hartung accepts the mark, but Hawthorne are locked in the back pocket. Forward half possession this uh, quarter as so far for these two sides. Yes, yeah, well weight in favour of the Magpies. It is 17 to 5. Yeah, well, they just haven't got near it, the Hawks. They are going to need to get cranky now. Free kick goes Grundy's way, so they're going to retain it in their forward half. So Grundy's only about 65 metres out from the punt road goal. Cloak is a stationary target. Now he gets a look at it. Bursts in front of Gibson. 
probably should have uh, marked the ball. Got too far under it. Frawley, little handball out. Here's Hartung, right on the boundary line. High ball. Got it out of the danger zone. One-on-ones everywhere. Ball over the back. It'll come to Collingwood again. Picked up there by Nate Brown. Little handball into Penelbury. Just got boot to ball there. Mitchell, nice soccer off the ground now, Smart. Sicily. It was intelligent play. Got it to Sicily. Rioli's got a foot race with Howe, tracking both of those players. Maynard. Howe got rid of Cyril. No whistle. Cyril goes over the top, almost donkey roots him in the back. No whistle, comes to Hill, keeps it alive, centering goal ball, got Gunston, nice play, smart footy, but take it back to Sam Mitchell's intelligent kick along the ground, duck, which sets up the shot at goal for Gunston. It was clever, wasn't it, into space. I'll tell you what, though, I thought uh, Howe might have been a little bit unlucky not to get a free kick. Cyril grabbed him by the foot, but great kick by Hill, top of the square, Gunston all by himself. Jack shouldn't have too many problems here. Well, he's been a little bit off, Shorter. Yeah. Well, he's 30 out, slight angle, and he puts it through for a important Hawthorne goal. Five played, second turn. They have their third, 3-4-22 to the Magpies, 5-2-32. Triple M National Crime Check scoreboard. Police checks fast and 100% online. Well, that just that's caused, he's kicked uh, 31-21, but from set shots this year. But that cloak at this end of the ground, BT, he runs under the footy. They, they drive the ball in long. Yep. Cloak just has to make more of a contest there. He yep. just got under it. Got to, got to at least get your hands to it. He did. Around the grounds, the one that's finished and the one that's about to start, Ash. Yeah, St Kilda by 58 over Brisbane. So Bombers have secured the number one pick in the other game. 4.40 start. Frio taking on the Bulldogs at the main. Okay, so Frio versus the Western Bulldogs at the main stadium. That one will have a say on the... Uh, bottom part of the top eight. Yep, just a little bit. Grundy to Pendlebury. Pendlebury moves the ball further afield. Collingwood at half forward. Goldsack rushes out. Traps the ball beautifully. Then got caught in the Burgoyne tackle. It was the one arm chicken tackle. And he could do nothing but let the ball go. And beautifully executed by Burgoyne. Kicks it backwards to Gibson. Gibson, punt road defensive goal square here. Just goes back, surveys the option. Does he want to go south or north? He thought about south, and then he decided to go the handball to the north. White cross, penetrating run, horrible kick off the side of the boot, and it's marked by Ace at half yeah, forward. Good for pressure from Goldsack, just uh, force White cross right. to slew the kick. Wills presents. Couldn't oh, take oh, the no mark. Penderbury to mop up. The skipper gets no. to 51. Hoikes it long towards Jesse White. One, two bites, takes the mark. And have a look at Hawthorne's reaction, Duck. Arms are out. There's a lot of looking at each other as if to say, whose man is? Not my man. You don't see it. Jesse White slams it through for the sixth Magpie goal. I'll get your thoughts in a minute, Duck. 6-2-38, the Magpies lead the Hawks 3-4-22. 6 played. Second term, National Crime Check scoreboard. Well, I saw a lot of that last week, Swatter, against West Coast. That's where they really struggled. Kennedy, Darling, and these guys got hold of them in the air. And that was another classic example of that. We know that Gibson and these guys are really good third up, BT. But if you can isolate them and yep. make them play one-on-one, -on -one, there was just no third man up there. Gibson got caught one-on-one -on -one with White, and White just beat him in the air. Simple as that. Collingwood are 16 up, and Hawthorne are not playing great footy here at the moment. Uh, that's why you've got to... If you have to make the Hawks pay when you're having... Your moment in the game. You've got to put scoreboard pressure on them. Jordan Bannister who should be doing the grand final this year. Out there, one of our very good umpires, former player, of course. Ball marked by Lewis. Defensive side of the centre circle here, Geordie Lewis. Lewis has looked lively. Short kick, finds Brust. He marks right on the Toyota logo here at the MCG. Brust now kicks the ball down long, looking for Sarah. Over the top of Jeremy Howe. Gave him a bit of his own medicine. And Cyril just looks a little sore. But he'll line up from 35 out on the 50-degree angle. Gee, it was a nice mark, Cyril. And it was more on Gunston. It was uh, Howe and Gunston. Body on body. And Cyril launched from a long way out. Beautiful Great kick. Grab. Kick here. Favours the left footer. He doesn't miss often. City in northern side. He and he shanked it. Missed it. Minor score, big time goal needed for Hawthorne. Couldn't convert. 23 plays, 38. Collingwood's way here. National crime check scoreboard. He's kicked 22 4 from set shots. So that's a rarity that miss. White will float up. Oh, it's another two grabber. He's on fire. Gets White. a handball off to Trelaw. Runs away from Hodge. Pies are exposing the Hawks downfield. That's a soft free kick. 
pushing them back against Hodge, so it'll go to Crisp at half forward. Low numbers, Ash for Hawthorne. Yeah, Luke Hodge, three, Hill, three. So Chris thought about giving a handball off to the skipper and goes towards Cloak, who'll come late with a big lead. Oh. That's better, Trav. Two bites of the pigskin and took it on the way down. Big marks everywhere today. How? Cyril, Cloak. Contested a, marks all over the ground, please, Ash, because the Pies are doing it nicely. Mark. Yeah, yeah, they are. They've had twice as many swatters. Six to three, hard yakka. Two to white, two to clay. That is a confidence-boosting clunk. Can he go back and finish off the equation? Can he kick their seventh? No. And that's the story of his career. Yeah, it's a bad miss. He does something really good and then lets himself down a little bit. Trav, 6-3, 39, 3-5, 23. They are dominating Hawthorne here, the Magpies. 9.40 played, second term, National Crime Check scoreboard. And, and hasn't got a glove on either. And that's what he should do to White Cross, jump all over him, given the size differential. Short ball marked here by Frawley, James Frawley. Good crowd at the MCG today. Kick goes wide and opportunity found here with Ryan Burton. Just game three for him. They've debuted eight this year, the Hawks. I think the highest in the competition with uh, Sydney. And when you look at North Melbourne, just two this year. Amazing differential, isn't it? Thanks. Fitzpatrick <laughs> out wide. Sprayed the ball and lands right on the line. So it won't be deemed out of bounds in the full. But at least Hawthorne have got it to their forward end of the ground. They trail 23-39. Just repeat that earlier score, Chu. Yeah, St Kilda, 25-11-161. Defeated Brisbane by 58 points. 15-13-103. Bombers have secured the number one pick. On their heels here, Hawthorne trail by 16. Fitzpatrick got a hand in there. The ball goes inside the forward 50. Trelaw with uh, Shield. Good tackle by Liam Shields. Wraps his man up. And we'll have it thrown up. 45 out from the Hawthorne goal. City end, 3-5, 6-3. Biggest lead of the game. Two men has been 16. Hardyacre stats spot on spot. Jesse White having a fair afternoon. Does the ruck work against Fitzpatrick, then throws it on the boot. Chris contests. Ball falls into the waiting arms of Smith. Handball Mitchell off the Jure. Flying, driving, left foot bombing ball is wide. Through for a behind. 3 6 24, 6 3 39. Pies lead, 11 played, National Crime Check scoreboard. Ball back into play here. Marley Williams oh, takes three, the mark. Other game starts what time, Ash? 4 40 start between the Dockers and the Bulldogs at the main. Okay. And uh, the other game margin was? 58 points in favour of St Kilda over Brisbane. How many rewild kick? Rewild kick an equal PB of nine. How many marks did he take? 21. Like this man here, Puopolo has just taken a ripper inside 50 for Hawthorne. And this is just a, a bit better angle than what Cyril had. But it is a must kick goal for Hawthorne and Puopolo. That's a, that's a big mark too. We're... Jeez, we've been treated today. And we have. It's an aerial display like, uh, well, years gone by. And Nick Rewalt, uh, what took 21 marks today? 21 marks Kilda. today. Gets me back to my own day. Here's Puopolo. He's two, has missed, has he? No, it's bent nicely. The little Puop gets his first. Hawthorne, 4 6 30. Close on Collingwood, 6 3 39. National Crime Check scoreboard. Is that some sort of uh, record for Nick Rewalt? In terms of marks, that would definitely be a career high. I'm just going to see where it stands in the history of the game. Did he beat Stewie Lowe's record? Is Stewie Lowe 21? You know what, BT? Yeah, I think he might be right up there, but I think it's someone like a Joel Bowden who oh, has a record rack up contested. all these uncontested yeah, marks. How many, how many contested was Rewalt? Yeah, I'll find out for you very shortly. Yeah, okay. Taking us a while today. Oh, How many uh, oh, was your on. career high marks, Brian? 21, oh. did you say? No, I didn't say no, that. I think you were leaning <laughs> towards that. Uh, no, I said, you want us uh, to correct it? Aerial supremacy. You had a solid day. 14, yeah. it was your most. All right. Nine point lead to the Magpies. Piopolo gets his first for the afternoon. We'll have a secondary throw up inside the circle. Around 21, 1985. It was a good day, Brian. Oh, it's before I got going. <laughs> Got rolled by Footscray, though. <laughs> ball is flipped around. Doesn't, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Hacks the ball towards Piopolo. Standing in his way, Trelaw. Gathered it and then darts away. Drives it towards Greenwood. Gibson lost him for a moment. Greenwood had it. It falls out of his breadbasket. Taps it into the path of Crocker. White cross buffets him over the boundary line. Hamill have it thrown in. Left half forward flank. Northern side to the punt road end. Pies lead by nine. 13 and a half gone. Last three minutes, I am sensing now that Hawthorne are much more committed than they have been. 
It's just a little sniffed, uh, a wafting sort of thing that I get every now and then, Swatter. But I'm just feeling it here now. Hodge, through traffic, asserts his body language. The ball was horrible, but marked by Puapolo. Onto the blazing Cyril. Cyril took a bounce. At the corner of his eye. Spotted Hill. Needs a good bounce. Runs onto it. 30. Closing. Didn't go for home. Gutson over the top. Couldn't hold the mark. Hawthorne are sensing a wafting smell of anticipation there. Make no mistake about it, they are within nine points of Collingwood. Yep, so we'll have a toss well by Howe. Yep. Went back. The only one that probably had the leap to actually get a fish to that ball. Yeah, sometimes Bradley Hill's a bit unselfish, Duck. He could have had a shot at goal. But anyway, the ball is thrown in deep inside Hawthorne's 450. Sharking the ball. Bruce. A magnificent crumbing goal off the hands of the Ruckman. He's got his second. And the waft, the sniff that Brian Sensing is well and truly there now. Three-point lead, Collingwood's way. 5-6, 6-3, National Crime Check scoreboard. 10.55 to play the opening half. Oh, he's looked dangerous all day, Bruce. He has kicked his second. That was a lovely kick by Rioli out, out front of Hill. He had no one else. That vision... Not everyone's got that sort of vision, Swatter. Cyril, the peripheral vision to just put it out in front. Let's look at the Chemist Warehouse replay. Oh, that, that is just textbook. Absolute textbook. Yeah, right that's... at the feet. Bruce on the move. Snap around the corner. I'm sensing the flick, the switch, Ash. Uh, inside 50s in recent period. Yeah, it's uh, Hawthorne have had four of the last five. I thought so, and here they go with Piopolo clearance out of the middle. Long ball in there. Sicily got up one hand. Maynard ripped it away off the pack. Gave the handball to Marley Williams, who's heading on the left. Came back now. Strokes the ball wide. So Collingwood a little uncertain here at the moment, just in this passage to play. Ball ends with Grundy. Grundy got it on half back. Don't like him as the kicker, but he likes the kick. Short ball. Finds Crocker. Crocker marks just in front of Southern Stand centre wing. 5 6 36 Hawthorne, Collingwood 6 3 39. Ball goes backwards. Mark there on this occasion by Phillips. Phillips short ball, risky ball inside to Grundy who marks a true centre half back. That's a brave kick, but now it opens up for Grundy who spots up Pendlebury. Pendlebury, 10 touches. Over the top to side bottom, the big guns for the Pies combining. Short ball to Cloak. Pendlebury, side bottom, Cloak. A long way from home. He'll load up Trav and head to the fat side to go. He's got a couple of Hawks to beat. Lewis is there. Frawley did well. Dispossessed. 30 out from Hawthorne's goal. Has another crack at it. Lewis under heat. Handball Burr going quickly off to a shield. Kick was not good. Mark is taken by Varko. Trav, you're a premiership player. Have a shot. Moves it on quickly. Cloak is tracking the ball. Had it for a long time into the waiting arms of Crocker. Snaps around the corner and the Pies get a steady in goal. Got a couple. 7-3-45 to 5-6-36. National Crime Check scoreboard. I tell you what, Trav Cloak is just starting to warm up a little bit, Duck. He is, he is. He nearly held that ball, didn't he? It was a uh, nearly a ripper. Just talking about marks. Most marks in a game. Uh, just off the back of some great aerial work here today by a lot of, uh, a lot of players, especially the small men. Uh, Brian Lake, 24 marks. In uh, 2007, they would have been uh, just of the uh, uncontested variety. A sideways, I would have thought. Yeah. And uh, who's that? Greg. Greg Park. Greg Park yeah. in what? 1990. 1970. Is it? Oh, 1970. Played from Melbourne. He had 24. Rewalt out of Rewalt's 21, only four were contested. Collingwood uh, nine point leaders here, and uh, those stats, uh, hard yakka on the back of Nick Rewalt, 21 marks today, nine goals. Short ball to Hodge, or was it 23? 21. 21. 21. 50 metre penalty here, Hodge. This means he goes from the wing. He should be just inside 50 by about 5 metres. Umpire Jordan Bannister makes it 10 metres. And this means Hodge will shoot for a goal. 45 out, almost directly in front. Bad 50 metre penalty. It was the 10 metre area. Phillips was the infringer. And it was, he came from behind the mark. Yeah, and then stood two metres 15, over the mark. 15, yeah. Luke. Uh, an absolute blatant one it was. Hodge been re-signed for next year. 45 out, big kick for the skipper. Lovely, lovely kick from Luke Hodge. And they are 6-6-42 Hawthorne. Collingwood 7-3-45 on the National Crime Check scoreboard. Hodge gets his first. Let's go uh, to Ash. 
just on the back of marks for hard yakka. Do you know who's taken the most number of contested marks in the game, BT? Is that Stewie Lowe? No. Oh. Wayne Carey with 10 back in the year 2000 versus Collingwood. <laughs> oh, my God. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Might have uh, handed you that one, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that came from your computer. <laughs> hey, uh, Luke Hodge in this turn, please, Ash. Yeah, Luke Hodge, uh, just the three possessions, but kick that major, of course, hard yakka. Three-point ball game, pies way. 8.47 to play, the opening half. Nice bounce for McDonald's. Triple M rocks footy. Pit net up against Grundy. Trelaw gives a handball off to the runner of Pendlebury. Kicks it inside, 50. Gibson over the top. That suits him. Ball into the waiting hands of Aish. Flicks a handball out to the stationary Wills. Wants to loop a handball back to Penderbury. Under heat. Wills, handball. Trelaw. No, it wasn't. It was Smith. Gives it off to Marsh. Back to Penderbury. Chain of handballs. Skipper. Centering ball. Blair will come with the late. So will Gold, uh, Goldsack. Burgoyne's gang tackled. One, two. Blair, he dropped the pill. Absolutely laid it down by hand. Shields quickly bangs it on the boot. Marsh couldn't take the mark. Marsh backed out of the pack, got the handball to Penderbury. Right, Advantage paid here, Penderbury plays on the right boot, finds side bottom in the corridor. And he marks, 45 out, 50 out, directly in front of here, still side bottom. Barco says, you slow and kick the goal. And one of the really good take advantage, wasn't it? Look at side bottom, Penelbury. looking around behind him for a 50 metre runner. And I tell you what, they've been unlucky, Collingwood, with a couple of holding the ball decisions. Umpire, real nervous. BT about paying those inside yeah. 50. Side bottom from right on 50. On his left. On the left boot if you don't mind. Just misses to the left by half a metre. Why did he kick that on his left? Must be sore. That's the only thing I can think of. 6 6 42 Hawthorne. Collingwood 7 4 46. Leon Cameron used to uh, yeah. do that a little bit from outside 50. Sam Mitchell. Mitchell. Done it. Yep. yep. But so. uh, never before have I seen side bottom do it. Mm. Burgoyne we have now. hits towards the outer halfback flank. Gunston got rid of his man. He gets a free kick. He was held in the marking contest against Jeremy Howe. So he'll go short. Hodge just starting to find a bit of the agate. Drops it down the line to Big Jack. Who's got a goal in his first game for the Hawks, the former D. He squares it to Birchall on the southern wing. Thought about dishing off a handball to Hodge. 6674 Pies lead. Birchall wants to switch. It comes towards Frawley. Jeray gets on his bike. Goldsack guards the mark. Coming towards Burton, who takes it on the northern wing. He does. Ryan Burton here. Right in front of the interchange area. Squares the ball down beautifully to Hartun. He marks it half forward. Gave the handball to Jeray. Jeray 60 metres out. Clobbers the ball. Piopolo. Rioli. They're all there. Maynard went up. Knocked the ball. Could have marked it. Sisley ran into the tackle. Somehow got booted the ball. Did really well in the end. Nate Brown with a handball out to Marsh. He concedes it over the boundary line. And we'll have a throw in 25 metres around. From the Hawthorne goal at the city end. They trail Hawthorne. Four point adrift. Of Collingwood. Skip so we'll have it. Go on. We're going to Robbo shortly. I think uh, James Ace is getting worked on on the bench out of the stoppage. Hill throws a boot at it. Maynard had his arm held. And that's the way Razor Ray saw it. Robbo quickly. Ace uh, took himself off. Swatter and left hamstring tightness. They're working on that. Burton, intercept mark, goes to Mitchell. Turns around quickly and spots up Hodge. So the skipper can go back and line up for his second consecutive goal. Here they come. And line up for the lead. Robbo again, Bob J. T. Marks. Yeah, Ace into the rooms now with the doctor and the physio, so it's a lot severe than what they first thought. So That's they... a terrible kick by Trelaw. Yep. What was he thinking? Trailing by four. Hawthorne. They've only led once today. Two men. Uh, twice early stages in that first quarter. Well, this for the third. Lead for Hawthorne, the skipper. Lifting his rating will line up directly in front, right on 50, on its way, and in the book. No, hit the post, it faded late. Three point lead, 43 46, Pies Way, 23 gone. Th a second term national crime check scoreboard. Still plenty of time left here in this second quarter, five and a half minutes as well. Poster there, three point ball game, that's what I said. Collingwood by the three. Handball out the back door for Burgoyne. Burgoyne near the boundary line, seeks the safety of it. And we'll have a boundary throw in on the southern stand centre wing. Simple here today. Win this game for Hawthorne. They finish third, lose, and it's sixth or seventh. And no double chance. So plenty to play for. Two new Ruckman into the side today. McAvoy, a late withdrawal here for Hawthorne today. 
And Fitzpatrick and Pinnanet get their chance. And both of them have acquitted themselves okay. Statistically, BT, the hitouts are 15 to Grundy and 12 to Pinnanet and Fitzpatrick. Okay, ball knocked down here. Billing for the three, nothing there. Shields funnels out the handball to Mitchell. He goes backwards, but finds space and time for Birchall here on the half-back line for Hawthorne. Just stabs the ball down the line. He's got Lewis. Could have given the handball off to Gunston and ignored it. So the boy from South Warnable will pitch it inside the paint towards Piuopolo. And Brown got there. Killed the contest and Lavert tossed him 45 around from the Hawks' goal. 6-7, seven, 7-4, seven, 24 and a bit play to the opening half. Pies lead. Honourable goal scorers Bruce and Crocker and Degoe, all two apiece. Over the top, Grundy. Couldn't find a handball target. Tries to follow up his ruck work. Brown lays on top of a converging pack and will have it thrown up. 45 out from Hawthorne's goal. Attack in the city in. They trail by three. And by Geordie Bannister. He'll throw it up. He does. Grundy, double hand knockdown. Lewis got it, but knew he'd be tackled. Got rid of it quickly. Trelaw, a high ball in the Hawthorne forward line. Not advisable by foot. It was dangerous. He got away with it. Comes to the ground. Trelaw again. Sharp handball, side bottom. Side bottom. Here they go. Phillips, the run of Grundy. Down the middle. Gives it off to Trelaw. Trelaw on the edge of the centre square. Two bounces. Can go long and deep. Went sideways. Goldsack had his man beaten. Didn't see him. At the corner of the eye. Now comes Goldsack. Grabs the ball. Tackled by Frawley. Got the handball off to Nagoe. He's kicked two today. Little handball back to Greenwood. Greenwood caught in the tackle. Shrugs. Gets a look at the punt road goals. And not quite the composure. And a minor score. So Hawthorne 6 7 43. Collingwood 7 5 47. 25 minutes play. Second quarter national crime check scoreboard. Trelaw's made some big errors, Swatter. Yep. He's got to stop worrying about how he looks when he runs down the ground, bouncing it. Sack and, inside use, space. and use the footy at the right time. Spot His decision on. making has been. What's he had? And efficiency, please, two men. Adam Trelaw. Yeah, 11 touches, but 43% by foot for Hardjacker. Yeah, he gets those kicks right, makes the right decision, and Collingwood would be further in front than the four points they are currently. Lewis straight up the middle, got it to White Cross, edge of the square. Keen to give it off to the running man, the boy from Ballarat, Smith. Look at them queue up on the outer wing. On his bike goes Billy Hartung. Got a man forward to the ball, it's Hodge. Got Rioli short if he wants, Sean Makers or Bruce. But he ignored that and went to the magician, Cyril, who takes the mark, 45 out on a slight angle. And he'll go back for a chance to put the Hawks in front. Well, he's already missed one in this quarter. He's 23-3 from set shots this year. This will be just on his distance. Kicked a big goal against Sydney to win the game from about the same distance and got the same result. He's just a magnificent football player, Cyril Rioli. Got his first for the afternoon. Hawthorne have kicked five in the term. And for the third time today, they lead 7-7-49. To the Magpies, 7-5-47. Almost 27 gone of the opening half. National Crime Check scoreboard. I reckon that's his, uh, his best ever goal tally, isn't it? 42, two men. Equal PB with 42 majors. And was that on. last year? Last year, exactly Last year, right. so got a chance to, to better that. And since there was a waft of Hawthorne coming through here, I caught it not that long ago. They've kicked four goals to one. Ash? Yeah, they have been. Luke Hodge, number one ranked player for the Hawks in this quarter. Eight disposals, one goal, one hard yakka. Yes, they have kicked four of the last five goals here, Hawthorne. Cyril there, the beneficiary of the Hodge pass. Nice footy. Hawthorne by two points. Out of the middle. Hawthorne go again. Marley Williams off the half-back line. Cuts a sway through the pack there. Sends it forward, bound inside 50. Only one there, Greenwood. Off hands, comes to Birchall. Knocks it down. Knew if he took possession, he would have been pinned in the tackle. Now Frawley is pinned in the tackle. Taken the ground by Greenwood. Lewis, handball, ricochet. Cloak got hold of it. The Lamble out the back door. Here's Talor. 45 out. Punt road in. Good kick goal. Right in front of the triple M rocks footy sign. Quick reply for the Pies. And they hit the front by four points over Hawthorne on the National Crime Tech scoreboard. Trollo oh. with his first. Look at the uh, looking at the Chemist Warehouse replay screen, and uh, Alistair Clarkson not happy at all. What do you think it's not happy about, Duck? Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether it's uh, Frawley taking on the tackler swatter or not, but. Um, Trelaw seems to be finding a bit of space, doesn't he? So it might be about that. It was a good finish because he hasn't 
finished well at all in this quarter, Trelaw. How many lead changes, Ash? That's uh, five lead changes for Hard Yak. Robbo, been, Bob, du sorry, du Robbo, really quickly. really unlucky. Ace still down in the room, squatted with that left hamstring. They don't like the look of it, Collingwood. Burgoyne on the charge. Handball to Mitchell. Cuts back inboard onto the favoured left. Pumps a high ball to Lewis with Howell. Lewis Howell did really well. Marsh back there. Ball bobs around. Bruce! The step was sensational. And then he missed the ball completely. Oh, he was right in front of goals. Went for the snap around the corner. Done all the hard work. And a swat of court. He missed it. Now Collingwood had the ball. At the half-back line area, Jared Blair's got it. A minute 41 and reigning in the first half here. And Brust doing some magical work to find his way through. And then just the skill error at the end. So, Robbo, you think Aish is gone for the day? Uh, well, he's just appearing right now with the physio. So he's walking out. Looks quite comfortable, BT, but we'll just see how it goes. OK, well, they're going to need him. Here's the mark taken by Fitzpatrick. Former D's player, little kick inside, cobbled up by Talor. Interception was good. Talor goes on with it with a knife ball to Maynard. He's a thumping left foot right through the middle of the MCG. Low skirting ball over the top. Crocker there, couldn't get hold of it. Had the back to go. He gathers already, kicked a couple. Kick around the corner, Mark taking the sack. Gold sack, possum eyes, mate. He was in here earlier today. And Tyson Goldsack has marked 45 out on a slight angle. No goals today for the sack. Now here he is. Good at the kick. pun road end. Good kick by Dugowie. Back into the corridor. Just put enough height on it for the sack to get there. Benign conditions. For a 10-point lead on the eve of half time. Gold sack just goes swoosh. Claps himself. Collingwood by 10 points. 30-minute mark. Second quarter. National Crime Check scoreboard. Well, if the Hawks uh, thought they were just going to turn up today, they have got a fight on their hands. And, well, they've played some good uh, footy in this quarter, the Hawks, but Collingwood are saying that, uh, you know what, we want to actually uh, have a bit of a say what's going to go on in these finals. They are playing committed, hard footy, Collingwood. Five goals apiece in the term, 10-point lead. Give us a live ladder right now, Chu. Yeah, Hawks currently sitting in sixth position on the live ladder. At this stage, we'll play off in an elimination final via the Bulldogs. Adelaide into fourth. Correct. So we've still got a half to go, but they are being challenged today. The Hawks, pies by 10, Trelaw getting a stack of it. Flick the handball to Grundy, fires one off the wheels, slaps it on the boot. Blair's tackle on Mitchell was good. Coming through, Pendlebury didn't have the ball, umpire. Umpire put the whistle away, side bottom. Gets a bouncing ball, half forward, left foot chiseling ball is perfect. Got it to Crocker, siren's about to sound, and this for a 16-point lead, and Clarko's doing a popper. He storms out of the box on the Chemist Warehouse replay screen, Clarko, someone's got to go with him, Mark Evans. No, he's not there, it's probably not a bad thing. Chris Fagan to calm him down, Clarko's doing a fuse. Crocker, got two, a big kick coming up. After the halftime siren, punt road end. The young man steps up to the plate, puts it on its way. It's arcing, it hits the post. So the Pies deservedly lead Hawthorne, who are finals bound by 11 points at the main change. 9660 to the Hawks 7749. Just quickly, two man Nick Rewald's day to day in the final scores there. Yeah, nine goals equal PB along with 21 marks, which is a career high for Rewald. St Kilda 25 11, 161. Defeated Brisbane by 58 points, 15 13, 103. Bombers have nailed the number one draft pick. Pies by 11 points at the MCG for McDonald's. Triple M rocks footy. Triple M rocking football here for McDonald's. By the way, download the Maccas Little Wind app today with the Don't Argue game. It's a beauty. Halftime footy here. And Collingwood lead Hawthorne. That's right. Collingwood lead Hawthorne by 11 points here. 9.660 to Hawthorne. 7 7 49. Uh, 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 Triple M halftime uh, trivia for the Herald Sun, Ash. Yeah, the tr question was, can you name Hawthorne's last premiership coach prior to Alistair Clarkson? And the answer is uh, Alan Joyce when they won the 91 flag. So well done to Jared Windsor at Wins AA1. He goes in the running for two tickets to this year's grand final, BT. Uh, very nice, uh, Ash. Now, if you could just set us up and uh, remind us all of uh, the game that's just started and uh, 
you know, uh, Pav, Super Pav, and yeah. what's going on there? His last game, of course, uh, for Pav, and that game's just got underway, BT. That's Freeman will take you on the Bulldogs. Bulldogs one behind, Dockers yet to score. No changes to either team. You got anything to say about Pav? Or? About, well, he's been an amazing player, hasn't right. he? 350-plus right. games. Right. And uh, how many All-Australians? I think it's about uh, six. six. All yep. Australians and six BNFs yep. for the Fremantle Dockers. When is the All Australian team selected, Ash? Thursday? Thursday, I think the latter part of this week. I think I'm right. Yeah, yep. I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are. I'm just agreeing with you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Look, lovely day here at the MCG today. Uh, and uh, sides just about ready to come back out. The Nabols kickers have finished. The umpires are out. And we're just about ready to go here. Normally in this situation, Duck, you would expect the team that is not fighting for a finals position to waft off into the oblivion. Well, Can't see that with the Pies. Well, that that generally, uh, well, that's happened over the weekend with Melbourne and uh, certainly Richmond, but you always get an upset and you just got the feeling that Collingwood were always going to come and play. That's that's just, uh, that's a reflection of Nathan Buckley, I think. And I'm not saying that Ruzi and, uh, and also Dimmer wouldn't have wanted his sides to perform better than what they did yesterday, but you just get the feeling that their form line in comparison to the other two coming into this game was pretty solid, wasn't it? The Pies have been pretty good since the break. And uh, I, just, I just think that uh, Collingwood will want to go out on a real high. This is a, this has been very impressive by them. They've been, uh, they've been good. They've been hard at it. And Hawthorne, well, Luke Hodge tried to lift them in that third, uh, uh, sorry, that second quarter too, man. What were his numbers in that second quarter, Luke Hodge? Yeah, eight disposals, one goal, one. goal, one. one. Yep. So... Look, you can never write off the Hawks. It's only 11 points. They're, uh, they're only a couple of kicks away. And that's why you just get the feel that Collingwood are going to have to make the most of their opportunities. So when Big Cloakie clunks a couple of those balls like he has, he's got to go back and kick the goals, PT. And uh, as the scenarios here that confront Hawthorne particularly, uh, just to remind us what they are. Yeah, so what it means, if, if the Hawks uh, were to lose today, they'll play an elimination final against the Western Bulldogs if, and uh, that means that Adelaide will secure the double chance sitting in fourth position they'll play Sydney qualifying final if they were to win they'll will secure be, the double will chance Will that be at the MCG already had? Who will finish higher out of Hawthorne and Western Bulldogs? I believe uh, There's no way that will be, be yeah. at the MCG But if it's if the, the Bulldogs only... have qualified higher then why wouldn't it be at Etihad? Yeah, I think it's home state final, as I said before, not home grand final. Same uh, thing happened to them last year, obviously, in the final, the Bulldogs. They deserved the final at Eddie Had. They the played it here. The only reason it would be at Eddie Had is if they were playing an interstate side likely to draw a smaller crowd. That's when they would go to Eddie Had for sure. But they do play Eddie Had better. That's their home yes, ground. They, it, do. they should it should by rights be played there if I think they qualify higher. Not sure whether you're hearing me. Knock knock. I know. I know. I BT. I know Home what will state final. I know what will happen. I'm just saying that right. though it shouldn't be happening like that. It should be the Bulldogs on their home ground. Oh boy. Jeez. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> uh, so scoreboard here reads Hawthorne seven seven forty nine. Actually agreeing with you. Coming with nine six. 60. Agreed with you far too much today. EJ Whitten Legends game coming up on Friday. Uh, Duck. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a big night. Channel seven. Triple M both broadcasting the game and uh, got the best lineups they've had in years. For that yeah, game they race. have some big, uh, big names. Obviously for uh, for the Vicks, the big forwards: Dermot Brereton, Jonathan Brown, Brad Johnson, Barry Hall. Not enough uh, room in the forward line for them all. Mickey Roberts, are you playing in the EJ Whitten Legends game? You're normally a fixture. No, I played eight of those BT and got knocked out at a uh, 43 years of age, so I decided not to play anymore. But look. Only three coming to the bench, BT, for the Pies. That means that that James Ace, the left hamstring, uh, hasn't come up. So uh, they are one down. So he he was actually uh, running towards the bench here just before half time. grabbed the left hamstring. Mm. They took him down in the rooms and hasn't been able to recover. So hey, Ace, Ace not there. Those uh, EJ Witten games, mate, they're marshmallow affairs. How did you ever get knocked out? Uh... Uh, Dipper playing on the same side, ran into his elbow and convulsing in the middle of the uh, the oval. wasn't good. Wow. All right. Oh. You all right? I am now. <laughs> I am now. It was a while ago. Third so quarter. Uh, Poppy just uh, underway for McDonald's. Triple M rocks footy. Razor Ray slams it down. Bouncing ball into the path of Mitchell. Got buffeted to ground by Penderbury. He got boot to ball up towards Piuopolo and Maynard. A couple of real scrappers. Maynard got rid of Piuopolo. Phillips's tackle on Smith was good. 
Has he seen a lot of it? The running man, Isaac Smith. Ball goes out of bounds and will have it tossed in. Left half forward flank. Northern side. Hawks head to the punt road end, trailing the Pies by 11. Yep, boundary throw in. Punt road end, they're kicking to here, the Hawks. Hodge comes up, confronts Trelaw. And Hodge wraps him in a tackle. You get the feeling Hodge been given the target. He grinds Trelaw's head into the turf. Mitchell says, well done. Hodge looking to go on with it. Ball up here, 60 metres out from Hawthorne's goal, ball, uh, goal. Knocked down a Mitchell, couldn't quite get it. Crisp, little handball to Penelbury. Went the underground ball to set up Blair on the run here. He was pursued by Smith. Back to Penelbury. Penelbury, little handball there. Couldn't find his man. Picked up by Blair. Gives it to Phillips. Phillips knocked off the ball as he went to kick it. Gee, the big fella there. Penanet went in, applied the tackle. Cyril, head over the ball. Got the little handball out. Cyril from 45, round the corner. High ball, Bruce. Marks 12 metres out directly in front. Great kick from Cyril, and Bruce will line up for his third goal. Great kick. It was a superb kick. Absolutely brilliant kick. Two Collingwood players were in and around Bruce, and he uh, managed to put it right in the middle. To get it back to a five-point margin, Bruce must kick his third goal. And here he is directly in front of the city end, at the punt road end, I'm sorry. And he gets it. So Hawthorne trail by just five points early in the third quarter on the Harvey Norman scoreboard. Well, that's their, uh, that's their worry, Collingwood. Uh, those two men there, those two small forwards, absolute gun, Cyril Rioli and Bruce. And uh, as I said, that was just a brilliant kick. Brilliant kick. Great start by the Hawks. They're always going to come, BT. Yep. Just around the grounds, Bulldogs 117, letting the Dockers by one point, one straight, six early stages into the first. Bruce with three. Rioli involved. Hawks down by five. 7-9-6. Big third quarter and second half for Hawthorne. They win this. Double chance. They lose. Cutthroat elimination final. Handball off to Grundy from Chris. Throws it on the boot. It was touched. They heard the umpires. Bouncing ball. Bird, uh, Birchall was well tackled by Dagoe. Greenwood tracks the bouncing ball. Jure charges through. Soccers it towards the boundary line. And he's happy to see it go out of bounds. We go downstairs. Bob Jane Tmart, Biggie that, Wabats. That's official. Uh, James Ash out of the game. Uh, left hamstring, just a bit of a whisper came through from the club. So he's gone for the afternoon. Yeah, Robbo. Thank you. Bobby Jane down there. Tmart's. Bob Jane Tmart's. Boundary throw in again. Over the top when Gunston. A little left foot kicker out of the pack there. Came out in the direction here on this occasion of Smith. Got the handball off to Maynard. To Phillips. Back to Nate Brown. Senar back, he hoists a long ball. It's in the air on the head of side bottom. Over the top came Bruce, knocked it down to Sicily. Sicily, chiseling ball, Cyril! Cyril's marked. Same spot that Bruce marked his ball. Cyril, 15 out directly in front of us, kick one. The little forwards that Duck just spoke about in Bruce and Cyril starting to insert their influence. Well, it was Bruce's spoil, wasn't it, that uh, set this up? To put Hawthorne in front by one point. Cyril, point blank range. Got it. Hawthorne lead by a point. Just three minutes into the third quarter on the Harvey Norman scoreboard. Well, they have to respond here now, the Pies. Massive centre clearance this is. This is. they got Pendlebury, Trelaw and side bottom and Grundy in there. So... Couldn't ask for a better quartet than that, Swatter. Yep. Up against Mitchell. Who's the other Lewis, one there? Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. Mitchell. Tipping. Yep. Big centre clearance. So back-to-back -back goals for the Hawks. They have their noses in front by a point. Brown's kick towards side bottom. Not a good one on the Triple M Chemist Warehouse replay screen. I reckon Clark goes just uh, in no uncertain terms, told his charges what he wanted. And they have started the third term well for McDonald's Triple M Rocks footy. Pitnet got it moving. Blair through heavy traffic. Quick handball. Side bottom. Throws it on the boot. Bounces it towards half forward. Smith charges after it. The long gate. Couldn't grab a bouncing ball. Tries to give it off to Birchall. He was tackled incorrectly according to Ray. By Dagoe. And Birchall to mop up at half back. City in northern side. Unlucky. I thought he got more of a bump than he did a tackle there. So Birchall, just a short little ball to Brad Hill. Brad Hill's not paid the mark because it didn't travel the journey. Now he's got to get around to go. He does, ran a long way. 
And Razor Ray loves to blow the whistle. And I thought he blew it a metre early. But a free kick will go the way here of Dugowie as a result of going too far. And he's 45 metres out on a severe angle. Well, he kicked it nicely, BT. Obviously, uh, he was a little more in front. But the distance he made easily. He is a nice kick of the footy. What are his set shots? Yeah, he's kicked nine goals three this year. It's a bad blue by Hawthorne. Just as they were starting to really come. Dugowie has kicked two today. From 48 metres out, right on the boundary line, misses that one badly to the right-hand side. So 61 points apiece here. Six minutes into the third quarter, Harvey Norman scoreboard. Around the grounds. Bulldogs by seven points over Fremantle. We've played 11 into the first. Earlier today. Early today, St Kilda by 58 over Brisbane. Virgil short, Duray takes the mark. Quick handball off to Hill. They work the boundary line. Broadcast side, Lewis is hemmed in by Phillips. Called to play on. Goes on the 45, it's a brave kick, it's a good kick, he's got Birchall, links up with Mitchell, handballs along the ground to Smith, not a good handball, he's on his backside, he was good enough to get it to Hill, gives a handball back to Birchall, Birchall, Burgon I should say, Gibson's handball, under heat, Blair flicks it over the top to Jesse White, Trelaw comes charging through, overrunning at Gibson, handball to Goey, head over the prune, scrappy passage of footy, Gibson's well tackled. But in the end, the tackle of gold set was deemed illegal. Yeah, a little clumsy. They let him off the hook here. And Gibson at centre-half back has been paid the free kick. Scores a level at the G. Hawthorne are pressing. Collingwood have been able to respond to all Hawthorne challenges today. But will a team not competing for a final spot be able to muster up that energy here in the second half of footy? That's what... That is the question that Hawthorne are currently asking Collingwood right now. Lewis goes down the line. Over the Push. top win Fitzpatrick. Collingwood, Jeremy Howe. Push. And Jeremy Howe has won the free. You heard the umpire. And he's got the free at half back. So 61 apiece. Risky kick side bottom. They cough it up. You don't want to give Hawthorne those opportunities. Smith to Mitchell. Stands and watches and does a 360 spin. Spits it out wide. Kick is good to Frawley. And he's got Schoenmakers busting into some open space on the outer half forward flank. Takes the mark. He can wheel around on the trusty left boot. And got Bruce at 48 directly in front. It's a bit easy now. Starting to bust open yeah, a little bit. the turnovers are really killing the pies, Duck. That was a terrible kick from Howe, wasn't it, to side bottom. That's where it all started. And then Mitchell. Well, they all just stand off Mitchell. I don't like to rush him because... Uh, he then uh, uses it so well. Poor oh, marking. Short. Poor yep. marking. Hill drifts in front of Bruce and he spots up the kick. 45 on a 45 degree angle. Punt road in. Bruce is the one, isn't he? Bruce is uh, having a really good game and he's had a really good start to this third quarter. So Bradley Hill to line up for their third consecutive goal to break the deadlock. 61 points apiece to the punt row goal. He slides it to the far side of behind. They lead by a point, the Hawks. 9-8, nine, 9-7. Eight, nine, eight and a half gone. Third term, Triple M, Harvey Norman scoreboard. Get the LG Cord Zero. That range now at Harvey Norman. Well, we know that you can't give Hawthorne uncontested marks. It's 10-1 to one this quarter. 10-2 to two now. Mark Yaka stats. Maynard in the defence of goal square. Will be forced to kick over the Rioli man on the mark. And he goes to the southern side out here. Collingwood have got a two-on-one. One of those is crisp. Long handball, spent a long time in the air, got it to Wills, gets around Isaac Smith, now Collingwood can surge forward, ball almost taken there on that occasion by Crocker, went to ground, picked it up, grabbed possession, had to run backwards, took a bounce, gave it to Penelbury, Penelbury handball backwards, finds Marsh, Marsh steady with a kick sideways to Howe, but they've gone back 50, 60 metres here, and now it's in Nathan Brown's hands, in the back pocket, handball over the top, Collingwood putting themselves under the pump here, in my opinion. As Phillips goes down the line looking for Dugowie. Strong attempt at Mark by Dugowie. Couldn't reel it in. Got it on the rebound. Handball there. Comes to side bottom. Side bottom back to Brown. Brown over the top to White. White runs inside 50. Let's it rip for home. And it just misses to the left-hand side. And a minor oh, score. Man. Scores a level here. Ten minutes into the third quarter. On the Harvey Norman scoreboard. Around the grounds, Dockers by four points over the Bulldogs. Halfway into the first swatter, Pavlich has kicked a goal, oh. which is career goal number 700. Robbo. Aisha showered in the full track suit, sitting back bench. We're all square here, 62 points apiece, 10 gone. Third term, Grundy 
Up with Fitzpatrick, side bottom fall of the ball, quickly puts it on the boots, a wobbly ball inside the paint. Goldsack with a big fly, losing his wheels was Wills, coming through Burton. Good composure from the kid, handball Rioli, no it was Burgoyne. Smart play from Sean, took the tackle and stepped it out of bounds for a throw in. What does a draw do to man? We haven't had a draw this year, what does a draw do to the finals? Question without notice will give Ash time to think. Yep. In the meantime got a boundary throw in here in the Collingwood forward end. 25 minutes around from their goal. Beautiful flick out the back door there from Grundy to Pendlebury. Pendlebury handball back to Grundy. Standing start, snap it, goal, got it. Grundy kicks his first goal of the day against the flow. Collingwood lead by a goal. Harvey Norman scoreboard. They will not go away. Answer Duck's question, please, John. Yeah, it won't be good for Hawthorne because uh, even if they were to draw... They'll still be sitting in the bottom half of the eight, so they'll be still playing off in elimination final. And you mentioned Pavlich kicking goal Number 700. 700. How many in the 700 club? Jeez, 21 to be precise. Oh, you had that ready, did you? <laughs> 21 players in the 700 club, and he's joined that club. Not a bad effort, is it? Yeah, he's been a great. And it's his final game for the Fremantle Dockers. He's been a terrific leader for a long period of time, Matthew Pavlich. Six-point lead to the Pies. A great goal, great snap, and good composure from Brodie Grundy, Duck. It was. He kicked some big goals this year, hasn't he? Remember that goal he kicked against the Tigers in the dying seconds? And that was a really clever snap there. He's, he's had a, a great second half of he the year. Yes, for McDonald's, Triple M rocks footy. Grundy against Fitzpatrick. Going to ground. Trelaw got it out the wheels. I like the kid. Pummels it inside 50. Side bottom inside forward 50. Cloak arrives late with a tackle off the top. And they pin it in the pies. They'll have it thrown up. Sorry, let me rephrase that. I balls it up. If Hawthorne were to have a draw... They will sit in third position on the ladder and have the double chance. All right, throw up Grundy over the top. Pies trying to get it to Trelaw. Big uh, pit net tries to give a handball. A flicking handball out the back from Marley Williams. Straight into the waiting arms of Whitecross. Mitchell dodges and weaves. Gets a yard when there wasn't one. They get it out wide to Billy Hartung. Stop, starts. He's corralled. Good pressure. That was from Greenwood. Over the top to Hodge. They come at him, all three of them. But he was good enough and cool enough to scrub the kick along the ground. Yeah, went straight to Masto. He banged it and he did likewise. Banged it to centre forward. No one home. Hartung. Marks. Kicks wide to Shields. Marks on the northern flank. Heading out towards the player benches. Look at the little man, Puapolo. He takes the mark. Got five on Grundy. Looks inside 50. Straightens Gunson. Turns him around. Barco will get there. Knock it out of bounds. Boundary throw in deep in the Hawthorne attack zone. Goal the difference here at the moment in favour of Collingwood. Halfway through the third quarter here. Let's go around the grounds, please, Ash. Bulldogs trailing the Dockers by three points. Halfway into the first quarter. Collingwood by one goal here. 13 minutes into the third quarter. Up they go, no winner in the air. Off hands it comes, the big fella Pinanet. Got the little handball out to Puopolo. Trelaw there, fast handball Lewis. Gave it off. Go forward again, Hawthorne to no avail. As side bottom gets their last line of defence for the Pies. He read it well. Goes onto that trusty left foot kick. That is outstanding to Greenwood. Looks up, looks long, got nothing. Got to slow it down, Hawthorne have numbers down the line. Greenwood read it well. Goes back inside 50, defensive end. That's Marley Williams, a bad kick. So you go back to the kick to Nathan Brown, who's tried to spot up side bottom, resulted in a Hawthorne goal. There was a bad kick about five minutes ago, resulted in another Hawthorne goal. And here's the third costly mistake for the Pies, Duck. Yeah, that's, uh, well, it's happened a couple of times in this quarter already, Swatter. And that will be the difference in the game. They just have to get that right. Doing so many things right today, the Magpies, but some crucial errors in this third term. Billy Hartung. Has kicked six majors for the year. He'd love to kick his seventh. He leans back and goes bang. Hawthorne have kicked three in the turn. And have it locked away again. 10 8 68 apiece. 14 20 play. Third term. Triple M Harvey Norman scoreboard. Well, they've responded every other time. Scores are level again. How many times is that? Chew up. Yeah, on the uh, hard yakka stat sheet, along with the six lead changes we've had, that uh, scores have been level four times. They have dominated. You look at the last 10 goals, Hawthorne have kicked seven of them. But there's still not a gap between them. No, biggest lead of the game, only 16 points, BT. Okay then, Ash. So scores are level here now. Yeah, and we're a, halfway through the quarter. Just a real poor kick from Marley Williams, wasn't it? Just telegraphed it. I'm not sure what he was thinking. Good game of footy. Uh, Hawthorne will be loving this if they can win because going into the bye next week, good solid game. Here's Mitchell, out the back door to Hodge. Hodge goes inside 50, deep. 
And a free kick will be paid Collingwood's way here against Sicily. Stop. Mate, stop. And it'll go to Jeremy Howe. Jeremy Howe at half back. Little sideways kick. Finds an opportunity here with Smith, and he goes down the line, and Jesse White marks half back. Good hands. Just chips it down the line to Drelaw. He's ranked up 17. And just slowing the game down here at the moment, the Pies. All thought of responded. Three goals to one in this term. 68 points apiece. Gold sack will compete. He had to do it. Fall of the ball was Wills. Hawthorne with numbers. Penderbury lost a handle on it. Jeray, a releasing cheeky handball to Isaac Smith. Found a bit of room to go into the trusty lift. Brown with Fitzpatrick. Brown sees it out of bounds. Right next door to the Hawks bench. We'll have it tossed in. 10-8-68. 16 played. Third term. So much at stake for Hawthorne. They win. They have a double chance One in the back. top four. They lose. One Elimination up. final next in a fortnight's time against the Bulldogs. Collingwood playing one short on the bench, Robbo, aren't they? They are because Aish is out. Aish is sitting in the back stalls, BT, in his full kick. Okay, Mitchell kicks to the middle of the ground. Dangerous here, side bottom, tried to work it forward. Got on the end of it, though. Did really well, the youngster there in Burton. Cut his way through and went long and deep. Up they fly, no winner in the air. Fitzpatrick was there, knocked down. Oh, how was passed, he decapitated. Umpire Luke Farmer didn't see it. And they get away with one Hawthorne. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. And a ball up 20 metres out from the Hawthorne punt road goal. Thank you, Jeremy. They watch the Kennedy Warehouse, Warehouse screen here on the replay and the crowd go ape because they can't believe that wasn't paid and neither can we. Touch ball, Off hands. Man. Greenwood's ball was smothered. Bruce got the handball, went straight to Barco. He mungled punts one back to the centre square there. But the bad bounce for Cloaks allows White Cross in. Gives a handball off to Burton. Just stops and waits and loads up the right boot. Drives it inside. 50 pew up below with a big leap over the back. Barco stripped off it by Shellmakers. 30 out from goal. Pies have got to be good. Clean and aggressive here. And that's exactly what Jesse White was. Trelaw overruns the ball. 35 out from Hawthorne's goal. Shellmakers can't break the Marley Williams tackle. They pile in. Phillips flicked it out quickly. High ball from Howe. Round the corner. Gold sack with Hodge. Good couple of old-fashioned competitors. Did well. Hodge kept it in front. Jeray had a crack as well. Have a look at them. Trelaw went and it was immediately tackled. Good tackle. Collingwood come away the ball through Blair. Gave it to Dugowie. Dugowie over the top to Cloak. Got the body position marks. No one between he and the goal. The kick had plenty of depth. And Cloak will line up from 35 metres out directly in front. Has not kicked one today. Uh, has to go back and kick this. We've mentioned he's marked the footy okay today when he's had an opportunity. Oh boy, uh, Duck's just uh, bubbling over there. Yeah. Here is Cloak, Excuse me. directly in front, 35 metres out, kick of the city, and he's got it. He's got it. Collingwood fans, get out of their seats. And why not? They lead by a goal, 18 minutes into the third quarter here. Harvey Norman scoreboard, upset brewing here at the MCG on the eve of the finals in which Hawthorne are trying to win four straight premierships. Round the ground, Swato Dockers by eight points over the Bulldogs, deep into the first. So if the Dogs lose, Chu, can anything happen to them ladder position-wise? No, they'll be playing off an elimination final regardless, seventh position. So Trav Cloak kicks his first for the afternoon in possibly his last game for the Pies. A big mark, a big kick, they lead by six. 7.55 to go the third turn. Triple MCG, solid Sunday afternoon crowd. And it's been a good game of footy for McDonald's. Triple M rocks footy. Pitnet goes up against Grundy. Throwing a boot at it was Wills. Couldn't get contact. Hartung's rolling forward now. Gives a handball off to Pitnet. A slightly intercepted handball on it by uh, Dagoe. Eventually Birchall lays a handball off to Smith. Rockets a handball to Dure right in front of the benches. Drops a long left foot drop punt up towards Sicily. Had a good piece of it. Couldn't take the mark. Penderbury applies a good tackle. They prize it free. Mitchell quickly around the corner. Rioli! Persistence pays off for Hawthorne with Cyril to have a shot at goal for his third. Well, it's been Bruce and Rioli. They are the dangerous ones up there, aren't they? And uh, he's only missed four set shots at goal this year. He's a star. He's a big-time player. He's a four-time premiership star with the Hawks. And he may be a fifth at the end of this year. Rioli's got his third, and Hawthorne tied up again. Thrilling game of footy at the G. 11-8-74 apiece, 20 play, third term, Harvey Norman scoreboard. Well, what a game. What a game. They're uh, 
have dominated in some ways, but Collingwood just able to get that goal BT against the flow, and that's generally what Hawthorne do. They're the ones that uh, get the, uh, they're the ones that sort of at times being dominated and just able to get that goal. That's what Collingwood's doing at the moment. So they've just got to hang in there, the Pies. And they are. And Hawthorne are throwing challenge after challenge at them. And the Pies have answered them all. Will they cease to answer at any stage? Or is this one going to the wire? And is Hawthorne's whole finals campaign under threat here? As the ball goes into Collingwood's forward 50 again. Gibson in the back pocket, last man standing there. Got the little handball off and they're out of trouble here as James Frawley sends the ball down the line. Good looking ball out wide there, show and makers. How have you seen him today, Duck? Uh, show and makers, give us the stats first. Yeah, uh, he hasn't had a lot of the pill. Just the six possessions. They'll be looking to play him in the first final. There's no doubt about that. I wonder whether they will, given it's a quietish performance here today. He started well, ball over the line out of bounds. We'll throw it in on center wing. Light to a blaze at the G. And Jesse White looks to have hurt his knee here. And this doesn't look good for Jesse White. He's on the ground in the back pocket here. We're watching the replay oh. now and a hyper extension on the Chemist Warehouse replay screen. So bear in mind, BT, that James Ace is already out of the game. Yep. Could be two down. Here's Pendlebury. Handball further afield. Collingwood going inside 50. Short ball goal sack marks right on 50. Jesse White back to his feet but just partially collapsed. So he does not look good at all coming off the ground. Goal sack. Low ball marked by Frawley. And Frawley, a short little kick now to Burgoyne. Burgoyne marks defensive 50. Straight down the middle, the kick towards Shields, doing well on that occasion. Pendlebury, outstanding hand on the ball. Hawthorne were away. Wills gets the chipping kick, hobbling inside 50 is White. One on one on two now is Cloak. Can he take a mark? No. Frawley with a couple of cracks at it. Couldn't get in there. Cloak has another go. They pile in, they dive on. And the ball will be thrown up deep inside the Pies forward 50. Robbo, Jesse White is no good. He's coming off the ground, Swatter. Right, right leg, right knee. You said it. Hyper extension. He got pushed in the back. Thought it was a free kick. But he's gone down and he's coming off the ground now. Yeah, being escorted by the doctor there. Here's Cyril. Little handball outs. Frawley wasn't ready for the swiftness of Cyril then. Handball to Trelaw. Left foot snap around the corner. Right to the goal square. Up they fly. Over the back was White Cross. Couldn't take the mark. Recovered his own ball though. Handball backwards to Penanet. Gave it off here. Long one to Isaac Smith. Big handball to Brad Hill. Hill to uh, Lewis over the top. And here they go. Birchall in the back pocket. Hawthorne looking to mount a strong campaign here. Hill slid the handball out brilliantly to Sicily. A double bounce. A triple bounce. A quadruple bounce. Southern stand wing. Didn't go for the next one. Not sure what it is. Kick goes long and Chris takes the mark. Defensive goal square for Collingwood. Tried to bite off a bit more than he could chew there, James Sicily. And Dugowie spots up Barco. So two men down, Robbo. Just recap it for those people just tuning in. James Ace, left hamstring out of the game. And Jesse White in the rooms, right knee, hyperextension. So they've been so good today, the Pies so far. Big Fitzy comes on the ground. He's got a goal, the former D, in his first game for the Hawks. Takes a juggling mark. Almost 24 gone. We are all square, 74 points apiece. Mark is taken by Burton, right in front of Mitchell and Puapolo. He's keen, keen to square it back to Frawley. Gold sack will guard the mark casually. Frawley heads out wide to Birchall, who's on the southern wing with room to run. Birchall got the inside slider in Hodge, working hard. Hill's taken the mark, he can slide the handle to Hodge. He too ignores him. Now Hill's got a hit up and he does Burgoyne. Marks right on 50 with some solid attention from Marsh who has hurt himself, and Burgoyne. Now, the man on the mark's right at 50. Burgoyne's back to his feet, so is Marsh. He will have to kick it 55, the superstar, Sean Burgoyne. 3.35 remaining in the third quarter here. A bit beyond him. Scores the level, probably right on his capabilities. He's got to strike it perfectly, let's put it that way. He's doubting himself. You can see it in his eyes. going to set it up, I think. Is it? No. 55 metres goes for home. High ball. It's going to fall a metre short. No, it's not. It's offline. No, it's not. It's a goal. <laughs> He's got it. Burgoyne kicks his first. Hawthorne lead by a goal on the Harvey Norman scoreboard. Well, he got close to the man on the mark, didn't he? Put it in the air and it just kept going and going. He knew exactly what he was doing. Seen him miss a couple of goals the last couple of weeks from uh, close in, but... He's a big moment 
big goal player, and that was a big goal. Just around the grounds, it's the Dockers by nine points over the Bulldogs. Quarter time, but some interesting news. Tom Boyd has gone off the ground with an injury to his left ankle. This is going for a marking contest. He landed awkwardly. Looks like he's going to get it re-strapped there. He's uh, with Dr. Gary Zimmerman. Five goals to two in this turn for Hawthorne. Trailed by 11, lead by six. What have the Pies got left? Side bottom. Scrubs it to half forward. Into the waiting arms of Wills. He was tackled well. He took the tackler on, and it was dumped accordingly by Burton. Quickly moves it out wide to Hill, who's starting to find a bit of the agate. He has six touches in this quarter. 11 for the game. He's held up by Crisp. Kicks into the man on the mark. Good guarding of it by Jack. Ball goes out of bounds off the smother. And we'll have it tossed in. Left half forward flank. Clarko's agitated in the box on the Triple M Chemist Warehouse replay. 2.49 to go. Hawks by goal. Who won the number one draft pick earlier today, Ash? The Bombers did, BT. Bombers have got the number one pick in the competition, Ash. Exactly right. Boy, oh boy. There's an opportunity. Puopolo near the boundary line. Might get taken over the line here. Got the handball on the hill. Hill with superior pace. Over the top of another handball to Hartung. Confronted by a crunching tackle in Mars, who slams Hartung into the turf. Spun him midair, sat him on his back, and Billy bounced back up. Boundary throw in. Half forward flank Hawthorne. It is Hawthorne by one goal. We've got 2.33 remaining in the third quarter. Out the back is Grundy. Had a bit of a fresh airy. Bruce, I thought, threw it to Mitchell. Mitchell, the extractor. Left, right, left, right, right, left. Kick left. High ball. Up goes Cyril. Couldn't hold the mark. Off hands. Barco, oh, Collingwood. Although a free kick will be paid to Collingwood oh, here. So Maynard gets it. And he holds his chin, but he looks to be okay. As Jesse White is back on the bench with right strapping on that right knee, Robbo. Yeah, heavily strapped and having a fitness test now, limping. Yeah, uh, looks okay, Robbo. Yeah, he's doing some yeah. stride throughs. He's doing a fitness test now, going along the boundary line. Right knee heavily strapped. Yep. Remarkable comeback. Yep. Ball to the southern wing. Well, Modern Medicine does wonderful things and Wills charges onto a bouncing ball. He's got the sack deep inside 50. One on one with Gibson. They leave it for each other. No understanding between Crocker and Goldsack. Goldsack will come after a loose ball outside 50. Threw it out to Varco. One handed handball. No, he needed two to do it, but you know what I mean. Tried to get it to Blair. Couldn't take the ball. Birchall through heavy traffic. Got it to Gibson. The old firm combined with Gunston. Good play under pressure. And Hawthorne maintained possession at half back through Smith. So I've got a minute 26 in the quarter remaining. It is a one goal lead to Hawthorne. And Smith on the half back line right in front of the MCC members area. Coming down the interchange wing. Sends it down the line. No winner in the air off hands. We'll have a boundary throw in here. Almost half forward for Hawthorne. Robbo, what do you think uh, there for Jesse White? Jesse White uh, did that fitness test and gave the thumbs up to the doctor, Chris Bradshaw. They're negotiating now. I reckon he'll come back on, BT. Okay. There's Grundy in front, knocked it down. Isaac Smith was there, funneled out the handball to Hodge. Hodge to Mitchell. Mitchell ducked out of the tackle. Side bottom's got him in a beauty and it was pinned. And Razor Ray said, well, ball it up right in front of the interchange area here. Everyone can see me and I like these ball ups close <laughs> nah, to the stop boundary. That, bro. Not like Ray. Just over a minute to go. They've been so good for so long today. The Pies, what have they got left in the final term? Lewis shovels off a handball to Bruce. He tried to fend his man off Marley Williams and did just that. Tumbles it to Puopolo. The diminutive little man made a rock. Goes inside 50. Crisp is there. Worried out of it. Show and makers couldn't find a handball target. Rioli dribbles it to himself. Then himself again. Off into the path of Hartung. Crisp got him. And got him well and shoveled him out of bounds for a throw in 30 around from Hawthorne's goal. Gee, Rio- they lead by six points. Rioli kept that alive three or four times then. Smart little things he did. Yep. Just little toe pokes, yeah. so tap ons. He's- so quick you can't even call them. No. In fact, Swatter didn't. No, but uh, they were quick, Swatter. A little handball out the back door. Less yeah. is better, Brian. Yes, that's right, Smith. Hi, ball. That's right, Robbo. No opportunity here, Burton. Burton, little uh, inching kick out the back door here. 25 seconds remaining in the quarter, Robbo. Here we go. Burgoyne to Birchall. He'll get the call off the bench. Here they go. One last launch. Gibson goes inside 50. High ball. Big pack forms. They're all there. The high flyer, Sicily Gunston. No mark. Off hands. Lewis gets a look at goal and goals it. Lewis is gold. Four seconds on the clock in the third quarter remaining. Lewis has gold, and they are now two goals up here, Hawthorne, on the Harvey Norman scoreboard. Oh, that's a massive goal.
in the context of this game, isn't it? Two goals. Well, Collingwood have been brave. This is, I think this is Hawthorne's biggest lead. Three in a row they've kicked. Clearly yep. their biggest lead. 12 points. So Collingwood are going to have to regroup at three-quarter time. And come out and see whether they can uh, put some nerves into this uh, Hawthorne side. As I look at the Chemist Warehouse replay screen and Buckley not happy. That is right on the death knock at three-quarter time. You don't like to give up goals. Siren about then. to sound shortly once the umpire slams it back down. They've kicked three in a row and six goals to two in the turn. The Hawks lead by 12 for McDonald's Triple M Rocks footy. And we are set up for a cracking fourth quarter of footy. The final 35th, 30 minutes for the Pies. Can they muster one more late charge? They'll have to be good, they lead, or trail the Hawks by 12 points. Just quickly around the ground, Dash. Stockers by nine points over the Bulldogs. Early stage of second quarter. Hawthorne staring down a double chance. Top four finish. They lead by 12 points at three-quarter time for McDonald's. Triple M, Rocks footy. Three-quarter time at the MCG. Enthralling game of football. Hawthorne right up against and battling for a spot in the top four and a double chance. They lead by just two goals. 13-8-86 over Collingwood. 11 8 have been ultra-impressive here today. Hard yakka stats, Ash. Rioli was the number one ranked player in that quarter. His stats are 10 possessions, three majors, six tackles. Bob Jane, team arts. James Ace uh, out out with a hamstring. That's the left one. And Jesse White had the uh, fitness test, uh, BT, and uh, that's the right knee. Uh, we'll continue on. Final scenario here, Ash. <laughs> Hawthorne win. They get the double chance. If they lose, they'll play an elimination final against the Bulldogs. Duck, what do you think? Well, uh, the Hawks, they, they probably dominated that third term, didn't they? And eventually got that 12-point lead. But the Pies, they won't be denied. They're hanging in there, BT. It's a good game of footy. What they have to do, though, the Pies, they have to cut out Rioli and Bruce. They're the two factors for Hawthorne inside their forward line. Gunston hasn't had a massive influence today. Well, doesn't seem to. Haven't looked at the stats. But uh, they're the danger men, those two smaller men for the Hawks. Just the seven possessions and one goal for Gunston today, Duck. Spot on. Earlier today, two men. Earlier today, St Kilda by 58 points over Brisbane, so it means the Bombers have got the number one pick. And in the other game, it is the Dockers by nine points over the Bulldogs, early stage of second quarter. Nick Rewald had a day out. He did nine majors, equal PB, along with his 21 marks, which is a career high. So marks. the final 30 minutes for the Pies. Can they muster one more run at the Hawks? They've been so good. They lost Aish. We thought they lost Jesse White, but he's made a comeback. They start the final term trailing by two straight goals. Hawthorne, they want to get it done. No injuries. Get stuck into it in two weeks' time. For McDonald's, Triple M, Rocks footy. Pitnet goes up against Grundy, and Grundy's proppy after that ruck contest. And they secondary throw up just to the edge of the centre circle. Plenty of players mill around the centre square. Grundy engages Pitnet over the top Sicily, throwing a boot at it. Collingwood play, it was crisp. Trelaw mops up, gives a handball off to Jeremy Howe, tries to be cute, charging through uh, Sicily. Oh, get Couldn't take worry. it cleanly. Trelaw scrubs it to Goldsack at half forward. Good tackle on him by Burgoyne. Wrapped him up and drilled him into the ground. We'll have it thrown up. Sicily's got to start playing with his body and not his hands. 86-74, last quarter, early stages here. Crisp doing the ruck work as the third man up. Trawlor did well. Got it to Grundy. Grundy further afield inside 50. But the mark has been taken by Burton. So Hawthorne to the city end here in the last quarter. Coming on to the punt road end. Burton goes down the line back to the interchange area. Sicily's there up. They fly over the back. Was the big fella there. Pennanet. Hamble out the back. Comes to Bruce. One of the boys they've got to stop, says Duck. And he was dispossessed here. And the free kick will go with Marsh on centre wing. Good tackle. Great tackle. He's the danger man. A handball off to Maynard who just drops it high and long. And Gibson has made a career of coming in and killing it. And we'll have it tossed in not far from the Hawks bench. 86 playing 74. 128 played. Final turn. Hawks and the Cats if the Hawks win. Week one of the finals, Chew. Spot on. Dagoe, handball, crisp. Throws it on the boot. Local come at Burgoyne, and he wrapped him up with a strong That's tackle and buries him into the ground. The umpire goes, no, I'll throw it up. Well, did he try to break the tackle, Duck? He did. He did. He took possession, and he put up the arm to try and break the tackle. That is holding the ball. The umpire's 
I oh, know BT, they... Oh. Trelaw from the palm down from Grundy misses and a minor oh, score. So 75-86, Hawthorne's way. Collingwood have got the raw end of the stick in terms of holding the ball today. They have caught Hawthorne on plenty of occasions and not got the free. That was a classic case of one of them. I'm on the scoreboard there. Hawthorne leading 86, Collingwood 75. Birchall from full back, kicks out wide. Grundy elevated nicely, couldn't pull the mark in. Jeremy Howe went and got it, funneled out the handball to Dugowie. Dugowie grabs possession, just brushes off Sicily like he's a fly, and then kicks inside 50. Cloak trying to get the front position, fully at the back. Off hands, Greenwood runs into an open goal. Got his second. Collingwood get one here early in the last quarter to ignite the fans. And they're within five points of Hawthorne on the Beaumont Tiles scoreboard. Well, as I said at three-quarter time, BT, they will not be denied. They have just hung in, hung in, hung in. And Greenwood, well, that is a great front and square goal. I thought Cloak was stiff not to get a free kick for being held off the footy, but... That's, that's the classic front and square. That's hitting the ball at pace. Absolutely nothing defenders can do when you hit the ball at speed like that. That's a beauty. I tell you what, Dugowie was good too. The don't argue. Clarko will not be happy with Sicily. Just uh, brushed off, as you said, BT, like a, uh, like wow. a mosquito. Yep. Just, just with uh, Dugowie, he's had nine score involvements along with his 12 possessions. That's the most for the Magpies. McDonald's triple in Rock's footy. Grundy straight down the throat of Trelaw. Slaps it on the boot. Cloak trying to muscle himself free. Bouncing ball. Duray with Blair. Duray socks it off the ground. Cripps is tra- 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 tracking the ball. It goes to Smith. He's got some pressure behind him, though. Phillips goes after him. Smith threw one hand at it. Got to go two hand. Now the Pies force the turnover. Side bottom. Can he orchestrate a shot at goal? No, because the intercept mark is taken by Birchall. Birchall in the defence of 50. Cut off everywhere, so... Goes for a dangerous one, but effective to send out back. Hodge takes the mark. Lewis says, no, I don't want the handball. As he comes past, Hodge goes over the top, finds Rioli with a foot pass. Rioli nursing a little ball there to Shields. Shields had the ball knocked away by side bottom. Knock of the arm, says the umpire. Shields with the free at centre-half forward here. Ray very particular about setting the mark. It was a technical little free, make no mistake. Shields pops it up high to the top of the square. They all fly. No winner in the air. Now it's down to ground level ball. Piropolo to Brust. Oh. And he misses. Well, he missed one in the third too where he did all the work, BT. Yeah, he had that one on the left and he misses. So 87-81. So a goal the difference in favour of the Hawks on the Beaumont Tile scoreboard. So this gets late in the quarter, Duck. And if it's still close, does the pressure build on Hawthorne given what's at stake? Well, yes. What up? It most certainly does. So Trelaw wants a handball target. They oh, almost man. stuff it up here, the Pies. Side bottom mops it up, gives it back to Trelaw. Goes short, spots up his man out wide in Marsh. Leading numbers for Hard Yakker, Ash. Trelaw, 30 touches, side bottom 26 for the Hawks, 27 to Mitchell. Good kick by Marsh, spots up the pig. Greenwood takes it, defensive side of the outer wing. Yeah, right on the wing out there. Greenwood just looks back inside. Chips backwards to Marsh, so Marsh... He too chips backwards to the defensive goals. We're gone from the wing back to the goals. We're now Nathan Brown has possession though. Hawthorne now press up. Rioli stands on the mark where Jeremy Howe has just completed the mark. Little kick by Howe to Varka. Only a matter of time before they make a mistake here, Collingwood. Yes, uh, nervous uh, yep. use of the footy out of the back half, isn't it? Varko oh. hanging in the air, and there's the mistake. Karundi dropped an absolute sitter, and he got let off because Frawley couldn't stop it going out of bounds. Now Hawthorne have it locked in their forward end. Boundary throw in on their half forward line here. Doing the ruck work is Grundy. Third man up over the top of Show and Makers. Knocks it down to Law's just becoming a clearance expert if he's not already. Here's Frawley. Trapped the ball wonderfully well. Got the handball to Isaac Smith. He looked for the brush off. Turnover. Picked up by the wee man Blair. Blair looking for White. White recovered from the knee injury. And he's taken a mark in front of Gibson. 50 metres out directly in front. He's just got to go back and kick it. He's looking to give the handball oh, off. That's a bloke that just, you know, take... Take the pressure yourself. Take the kick. You've got the tats. Yeah. Yeah. Cap it off. Jesus. Jesus. Nice. The, uh... <laughs> wow. Jesse, just kick the goal. You've got the tough stickers. Come on, mate. Can do the tough things. Boy, it's your turn. <laughs> Step up to the plate. Jesse White from 47 metres out. High balls one. Triple and rocks, footy side in the background. Goal. Got it. Scores a level. Yes, he's got a couple. 
Scores level at the G, 87 apiece. Beaumont tile scoreboard. Let's go around the grounds, please, Ash. Thanks, BT. We've got the Dockers by 16 points over the Bulldogs, halfway into the second. Well, Trelaw's had 10 clearances, uh, BT. PB is 11, and this is a massive one. In the centre. He's roving both Ruckman's knocks at the moment. Yeah, well, he's in the middle with Penelbury and also Crisp with Grundy as the Ruckman. So we just see the third quarter injury to Jesse White when Hyper extended that right knee. Comes back on, strapping on. You'd suggest a bit of jungle juice and he's kicked his second goal. We're locked away, 87 points apiece for McDonald's. Triple M Rocks footy, Crisp. Throws it on the boot. It's a high speculator. Greenwood in front. He had it. Couldn't come down with it. Had a good piece of it to Levi. They wrap it up the pies and we'll have it thrown up at half forward. 39 apiece. Biggest lead for Hawthorne Ash. 12 points. You're exactly right, Swatter. Pies 16. Yep. Penderbury was tackled. Hodge wobbles it towards the outer wing. Foot race now. Smith's off after it. Hartung there, closing in there. Varco, little soccer off the ground. Did well. Out towards the wing, so he nullified it. Now Smith tries to pick it up off the ground. Trelaw, he's got to beat him to the footy. Trelaw couldn't hold it. Smith handball. No one home. It's Big Fitzy. Big Fitzpatrick out there. Ball goes over the line. Out of bounds. Centre wing. It's in neutral territory. Fans are not happy for the Hawks. Well, not only the players under pressure, BT, but now the umpires. These are big moments for them. Big decisions. A lot of ramifications if there's a wrong one. Shell V Power special comments there. Wayne Carey on Triple M football. Hodge being held. Got a little knocked out. Piopolo. Handball's out in front. Didn't get it to sit up though. Spills back to Trelaw. He stiff arms Piopolo. And got Ping taking him on Trelaw. And so Hodge has got the free kick on centre wing. Big moment. Skipper steps up and nails Trelaw with a big tackle. Hodge's numbers. Luke Hodge for Hard Yakka. 16 and a major. Nine gone. 87 points apiece. Hodge got a separate from Lewis. No one comes at him. He gets 20 metres. Now drives it high. Drives it long. Rioli with a leap early. Went really early. And a whistle on play. Free kick Collingwood's way. Oh, Ray, get out of the game, mate. It'll go to Degawi. So he squares it to Howe, top of the square. He'll move it on quickly. Low kick, got it to Phillips, can come it to side bottom if he wants. Phillips takes the mark and runs the boundary line, then cuts back inboard, not sure what to do. And then cuts back outboard, and he finds Grundy. Grundy accepts the mark, plays on with a handball there now. Oh, a bit of a fumble there by Smith, goes to ground. Hawthorne pounce on him, and they lock it up. No, and he's been pinned. They have been... Hawthorne. Free kick Hawthorne. Yep, that's two free kicks now where Hawthorne have got them. Collingwood have hardly got a free kick like that all day. Shields between wing and half forward on the northern side attacking the city end here, Hawthorne. Shields goes inside 50. Sisley's got a free run at it here. He can launch from the side. There was no one with him. He jumped on the back of Fitzpatrick and he's taken a rip at 25 out. Well, he's had a bit of a... Sort of a weird day today, hasn't he? He's done some good things and some poor things, and that was a great thing. That was a sensational mark. That's what he's that's what he's there for. That's what he can do, and we know that he's a generally a pretty good finisher. Well, he's 15-11. He's barely a 50% converter, but I think he's actually better than that, or it seems he's better than that, as yeah. you say, Duck. Here he is, 30 metres out, a little bit of angle about it. Should kick the goal. Sicily, fairly erect sort of operator, and he gets the goal. Celebrates, lights ablaze. Hawthorne back in front by one goal here on the Beaumont Tile scoreboard. There's Triple M, rocks footy at the MCG. Oh, big grab, wasn't it? Big kick, but once again, uh, and I'm, I'm not harping on that, but the umpires, it's big moments for them too, BT, and there's been a lot of, a lot of balls where, or holding the balls where Collingwood have caught Hawthorne plays, haven't been paid, and then two big ones in the last minute go Hawthorne's way and they kick that goal. Just the uh, free kicks uh, for Hard Yak. We know the numbers uh, can be irrelevant at times. It's 14 to 12 Hawthorne's way and just around the grounds. 16 points in favour of the Dockers halfway into the second. 11 and a half gone. Hawks by 6 points. Sicily gets his first for McDonald's. Triple M rocks footy. Grundy against Big Fitzy. Handball comes out. Side bottom. 
tumbles it inside 50. White reaches in over the top. Cloak tracks oh. the loose ball. Got to go out of Trav. Gibson's handball. Jure was okay. Puts it out into the halfback flank space for Hill to use his speed and evasiveness. Couldn't get the kick away. Pressure was good from Goldsack. Dugowie driving ball inside towards Crocker. Got have eyes on the ball. White cross. Suck it off the ground. A goal saving smother from White Cross. He did well. Got it to Gibson. Gibson to Lewis. They don't panic the Hawks. Lewis handball to Birchall in the defensive goal square. Now to Jeray. Jeray long slipper kick. Puopolo setting himself for the mark and he does it half back. Puopolo around the corner found Isaac Smith in the corridor. He ran, sold some hand candy, gave it back to Puopolo on the Shields. Shields over the top. Here they go. Hartung stepped on the gas, ran away, took a bounce, got within 30. Goal. Hawthorne inspirational stuff. Hartung's kicked a couple. And Hawthorne lead 15 9 99 to Collingwood 13 9 87. Well, who do you think they're all running to? Who? Boys? Well, who do you think? Well, I didn't see who, who got the ball. Well, it was the, In the uh, goal square? Yeah, White was, Cross? Yes, it was the smother from White Cross on the line. That was absolutely brilliant. Yep. Every, just about every player in the back half of the ground ran to him and said, that's your goal, and it was. I knew he was quick, Billy Hartung, but he put yards into Travis Varco. I thought he was actually catching him, to be honest. Oh, may have been late, Duck, yeah, when he needed was. to hit the gas. Oh, yeah, he got, no, he, he got away. He got away and gave himself time, didn't he? He's steady. So a two-goal lead could be critical for the Pies. For McDonald's, Triple M Rocks footy, Mitchell suckers it off the ground. Can they really flex their muscle late here? The Hawks, Bruce, handball, cheeky to Billy. He's having a golden moment. Gives a handball off to Sean Makers. Burgoyne slips past one, past two, over three. Hawthorne had three in a row. And it's a game high 18 point lead. The big name players start to step up. And Birchall gets another goal 16 9 105. Collingwood 13 9 87. Approaching the 14-minute mark of the final term on the Beaumont Tiles scoreboard. Beaumont Tradies, get in, score, in store and grab your Ardex offer. It's red hot. Bergwijn kicking the goal. Three in a row for Hawthorne. Let's go around the grounds, please, Ash. Yeah, BT, it's the Dockers leading the Bulldogs by 14 points deep into the second quarter. 18-point lead here now for Hawthorne. Got 10, 11 minutes left in the game. They're 18 up. Still plenty of time here. Lights ablaze. MCG stepping to the plate, the big time Hawks here at the moment. Three goals to two in the last quarter. Still tight, is it, when you look at it in terms of goals? Three goals to two. Collingwood kicked the first two of the quarter to get the scores back to level. And then Sicily stepped up, Hartung and Burgoyne. And here we are in the middle, Fitzpatrick. Into the side today, kicks long, marked by Jeremy Howard, half back here for Collingwood. Jeremy Howe looks to move the ball quickly. Goes out really wide, looking for and finding Smith. Couldn't gather the footy. Puopolo took him on, tried to cut through. And the umpire said it was pinned again here on centre wing, but on the edge of the centre square here in the neutral ground. Ten and a half to go, final term. Hawthorne right now, third spot, two man. Spot on in the Take on ladder. the Cats near in a fortnight's time, Trelaw. Tries to give a handball away. Puopolo threw a boot at it. And it bounces into the waiting arms of side bottom. The fin was good. The brown handball to White. Goes to Gold Sack. Good score by Gibson. Telling White charges through. That's better, Jesse. Gives a handball over the top to Wills. Steps around his man, White Cross, but it was a good tackle. Gives a handball off to Smith. Scrubs it to half forward. Hartung in the way. Hawks with Jure have numbers. They do. They flick the handball around. White Cross feeding little handball to Shields. Another little handball to Lewis. He just says, I've got to get it out of the danger zone. Bangs it on the boot. In front, Puopolo deliberately tried to knock the ball on. Maynard was able to rove it. Gio was an impressive tackle by Bruce, not once but twice. Collingwood retain possession. The kick to Trelaw has got to be good. Almost intercepted by Smith. Now Trelaw goes back to get it. Goes to ground deliberately. Caught high. Oh, Trelaw free between centre-half back and the centre of the ground. Advantage paid there to Marley Williams. Gave that spinning handball off here to Phillips. He uh, sights up one down the eye a little. Travis Cloak takes the mark on the lead in front of Frawley. 65 metres out here. Got to keep it moving, Collingwood. Cloak goes with a real wobbler inside. 50, Mark Crocker. Crocker has marked directly in front. 20 out. He has two. This to get them back within two goals. Crocker 
for his third. No angle, 20 metres out directly in front. Well, if he kicks this, they're still in at the pies. Has to kick it, says Wayne Carey. And here he is, punt road end. Needs the goal desperately. Leans back on it and gets it. Crocker's kick three. Collingwood are back within two goals on the Beaumont Tile scoreboard. Well, they keep coming. Trelaw, halfback flank. Geez, that was lucky. Slid, ducked, got the high tackle. The handball went over the back. Seriously, a game of inches at times, this game of ours. Just small little decisions that can mean a whole lot in the end. Big goal by Collingwood. Once again, massive centre clearance. This one, two men. What are the centre clearances for the day? Yeah, it's uh, 16 to 12. Collingwood's way. Trelaw's had five of those. Just with Trelaw, 21 contested possessions out of his 32. That's an equal career high for him. Disposal efficiency. He was poor in the opening half, too. Has that improved? Yeah, it has. Uh, so what it's now tracking at 70% for Hardy. So we've got 8.44 to go. The Pies. Season 2016's over for McDonald's Triple M Rocks Footy. Razor Ray goes to ground. Penelbury chased down. Got a handle off to Marley Williams. Trelaw again. Back to Marley Williams. They're still bravely fighting on here, the Pies, but that's a terrible bounce by Marley. Lost the handle on the ball completely. Scrubbing ball from Mitchell. Got it to Burgoyne and half forward. Flicks a handle back to Gunston. Gunston now got time and space as uh, an option here. High ball, Cyril! Up one hand, couldn't hold the mark. Off hands it comes. Little handball out from Sicily. Didn't want to get rid of it. Tried to win the game himself. On the deck, Pandlebury paddles it out the back door to Marley Williams. Oh, Free kick, Collingwood. And the advantage paid here to Law, who's just outstanding. How many has he had, Ash? 34 touches. Oh, yeah, boy. There you go. Over oh. the top, Burton knocked it down. Side bottom comes in, takes it away. There are two goals down the pies. Side bottom going into attack. Nice kick in the middle of the ground. Found Barco. Barco plays from the handball to Grundy. Grundy to White. White could have gone for home. Short kick finds the target. And Cloak is marked. Oh, big kick. Now 20 metres out. 25 metres out, Travis Cloak. This is a massive kick. He doesn't normally kick these. No, not under oh this is huge 25 meters out directly in front this to get it back to a one goal game travis cloak takes little time kick on the way he's got it cloak's got two travis cloak has kicked two collingwood are back within a single goal on the beaumont tile scoreboard yeah well done travis cloak great goal Good use of the footy. What about side bottom? That was just absolutely brilliant. Not sure Varco should have given the handball off to Big Grundy, but he used it well in the end. And that's pressure at its greatest by Big Travis Cloak. Well done. Maybe his last quarter for Collingwood. Shelby Power special comment. Shelby Power fill up the win from the King. Cloak's got two. What does a draw do for Hawthorne Ash? Yeah, still nail them. A top four spot, third position on the ladder. So pitting it up against Grundy. A six-point ball game. Back-to-back -back goals for the Pies. Can they get the clearance? Trelaw tries hard. Burgoyne gets in the way. Williams was good. Eventually comes to Wills. Barco on the charge. Does a forward oh. somersault. Gets up with a grip. Dig with a aim. Point nine. Blair couldn't take a bouncing ball. Frawley's under some heat. Puts a head over the ball. And Barco got him with a coat hanger high and late. Yeah, Frawley was coming through the pack with plenty of speed and power. They're a goal down, Collingwood. Frawley at half back. Just hoist the ball high out towards the wing. Sicily chose not to go at the back. Ball hits it there. Kicked up by Collingwood's Nathan Brown. Handball straight into the waiting arms of Burgoyne. Little one out the back door here. And the big fella, Pinnanet, knocks it over the line out of bounds. Boundary throw in centre wing. 52,968 here today. And at the moment, Hawthorne 16-9-105. Lead Collingwood 15-9-99. That's a six-point differential in favour of the Hawks and we've closed into the last six and three quarter minutes of the game Bruce on half forward paddles it picks it up cleanly straightens kick inside 50 low ball couldn't get down there Gunston picked it up handball back Bruce right foot snap couldn't get it over the top of Collingwood gee why didn't he go higher and now Maynard trouble trouble side bottom cool long looping handball to Howie keeps it in he wants to bring it to the broadcast side kick to Greenwood got the numbers here Pies if they're clinical handball off to Maynard Cloak's lurking broadcast wing to go out of the top Cloak turn around Trav he does chips a wobbly ball to Goey. he's got Blair working hard short he 
He's got his man White Long held up. But he's slow. He waits for something to transpire. And he's kicked it out of bounds. They should have probably Poor tried option. to keep running. Poor option. Yep. You had White one out with Gibson Long. Hawthorne by a goal. Shell V Power special comments there. Shell V Power fill it up to win. Knocked down here from the big fella Pinnanet. Knocked it forward. Hawthorne looked like they're almost out of gas here. They've stopped winning the contested ball in the last three or four minutes. And Collingwood have closed to within a goal. Let's go around the grounds, please, Ash. Thanks, BT. Dockers by 12 points over the Bulldogs nearing half time. There's the little whippet bound round by down there. The Richard Wilkins of football. <laughs> Knocked down side bottom, spun out the handle to Trelaw. How many, Ash? 35. Inside 50, high ball. Here comes Cloak again. Big mark taken by Hodge in front of a closing cloak. That is a captain's mark right there. Had no hesitation putting the bus in front of the pack. Took a gutsy mark. Burgoyne wants to ice some time off the clock. It's a six-point lead to the Hawks. 5-19 to go. Pinderbury wanting to come back on. Burgoyne. Halfback, broadcast side, drops it long. Big mark coming up, or passage of play. Sean Makers a hand at it. Maynard head over the prune. Charges forward, drops it towards Cloak. Make a name for yourself, Trav. Had a piece of it, couldn't take the mark. Gibson taking the ground. He's held well. He just put it on the ground. No attempt to try and get rid of it. Hodge a hot handball. White cross under real heat. Yeah, Pendlebury still can't get back on the ground here. G Sports Science guys mucking it up again. Get the best bloody player on the ground. Goodness me, Greenwood, inside 50, Mark DeRay. Juggling attempted Mark, he's got it. Penelbury finally gets on the ground with four and a half minutes to play. DeRay in the back pocket, scores, goal the difference. They're feeling it, the Hawks, BT. Hawthorne's way, yep. 4.31 remaining. High ball, Isaac Smith's got to go, Jeremy Howen. Greenwood, who's played a real good game today, just it off to Penelbury. Penelbury around the corner, funny little kick to Greenwood. Handball over the top to Grundy. Grundy, you should handball it. He does. Side bottom. Collingwood player down behind play. Shields picks yeah. it up, tries to fend off to Law. Got to get rid of it. Does to Lewis. Lewis had to commit the body and got an eye from Wills. And a free kick to Jordan Lewis at half back. Hawthorne by a goal. Robbo. Now off after that big mark, smash to the ground. Lewis with a timely free kick. They are camped in their back half here. Hawthorne, they've stopped to a standstill. Pies mounting one more brave charge. Grundy, a good spoil. Marley Williams quickly on the boot. Wobbles it down the line towards Cloak in front. Trev's got it. Takes a diving mark. What a moment. I've seen him kick these, Swatter. 3.40 to go. Ducky's kicked two. It's his final game possibly for the Pies. Wouldn't this be a great way to finish? I reckon he's kicked one of these this year from here, if I remember rightly. Six-point lead favouring the Hawks. Inside 50's and, last five and minutes, Have a look Ash. at this. They won't let him come around on the angle, so his run-up is down to about five metres. Yeah, he'll need to be good. He has to be able to come around. Yeah. Eye of the needle for Trav. They'll go nuts. That's disgraceful. Centering ball, top of the square. Can they get a mark? A big leap. Oh, play! No, three kick. He's oh. played the mark! He missed the free Greenwood kick. Greenwood went early. He flew yeah, us. Yeah, unrealistic yeah, attempt in Jared Blair, Flick second 40. Flicked him with his shoe. Jump out. Let's go. Jordan, jump out. Clear out. Blair shot at goal. We are locked away. Unbelievable game here at the G. 105 apiece. Collingwood playing for pride. 2.50 to go. Hawthorne could be gifting away a top four double chance spot. So what the umpire said there, BT... I'm not sure who it was. Might have been Crocker leapt early. The umpire said everyone thought that it was a free kick because it was an unrealistic attempt. Look at the Chemist Warehouse replay screen here now. He says he flicked him with he a boot. He said he flicked him with a boot. Who was it? Greenwood, was it? Yeah, but I reckon he invaded the opportunity for Fitzpatrick to go for the mark. He took him out of the contest. Yeah, I, uh, very stiff there, the Hawks. Yeah, very stiff. That, looking at that on the Chemist Warehouse replay, I think, gee, and I love Geordie, but I think he might have got that one wrong. Back to the middle of the ground. Scores the level here at the MCG. Two minutes 50 remaining in the game. Penelbury looks to get it out of the middle. Mitchell there. Penelbury soccer out of the ground. Got to set up on Greenwood. Couldn't get it. Cloak. Little handball out. Now Hodge. Here they go. Blair. Soccer. Tries to win his own soccer. White Cross got the ball. Got to get rid of it. Got to get rid of it. He's gone. No, he's not. Knocked out. Just in the next time. Hard time. Snap it. Goal. I think Trelaw kicked it. Trelaw's kicked it. Collingwood lead by a goal. Got a couple. Crowd's gone nuts. Collingwood lead by one goal with two and a half minutes remaining. 
and Ash, live ladder please. Hawthorne sitting in sixth position on the live ladder, Crow sitting fourth BT. So Hawthorne currently out of the top four double yep. chance. Just about all of South Australia would be jumping up and down. So the pies, the pies roll numbers backed up with 2.23 to go on a six point lead. No, you've got to, it's a long time swatter. I would be continuing to attack exactly how they've done. They just need one more point, Duck. They do. a two goal game. Yep, don't go negative. So they lead by six Got points. Remain positive, Spine Swatter. Spine tingling comeback for the Pies. They trailed by 18. They've kicked the last four for McDonald's Triple M Rocks footy. Rioli into the guts. Hawthorne sit in six. That have been an elimination final. Fitzpatrick from the centre. Big Jack with a bombing ball. Unguarded goal square. It's home. Fitzy. Bloody hell. He doesn't well, know what's happening. He looks shocked. Unbelievable, the former demon from the stoppage kicked it from 60 inside the square and it's 111 points apiece. Unbloody believable. He looked shocked. He said, oh no, I've done it. Scores level. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes and four seconds remaining here. Well, that's the biggest moment in his career. Live ladder, Ash. Hawthorne back to third position on the ladder, BT. Crows are outside sitting fifth. Scores a level. Anything you want to do, Duck, with two minutes remaining? No, you've got it. You've just got to keep continue to attack both sides, man on man, all over the ground. Actually, no, there's one lose for both teams, BT. Jordy Bannister to bounce it in the middle. Got a beautiful bounce up. Fitzy's there, the big fella, off hands, off the back of the pack. Marley Williams bank at the centre half forward, but Frawley marks. Now, I wonder whether the Hawthorne players know that a draw for them is as good as a win. Do you think they know that? I don't reckon they do. I don't reckon they would have covered off that scenario. Here's Jeray, defensive 50. So I wonder whether the last minute, whether they go for it thinking they have to win when they don't, and they may take a risk they don't need to. Got to press up here now, the Pies. Jeray with a high ball. A really high ball to half back. Spoil over the top from Goldsack was desperate. Back of the pack, Lewis gives a handball off Birchall. Got a man out the back door. It's Burgoyne. The big names involved Lewis, Birchall, Burgoyne. 111 points apiece as BT said a draw gets off on a double chance. Gunston over the top. Lewis has drifted forward. Lewis now bombs a long ball inside 50. Here it comes. Brewster's there. They're all there. Jeremy Howe knocked into the boundary line. Over the back it comes. They only need a point. Pure play caught high. No. Razor Ray not falling for that one. Over the line and out of bounds. 10 metres around from Hawthorne's goal. I don't reckon the Hawthorne players know that a draw is as good as a win for them. Boundary throw in. Within 20 metres of goal. 58 seconds here. Ball in the hands of Hawthorne in their forward 50. Hodge, snap at goal. Pure blow's got to knock it through. He does. Kicks a point. That's, that's okay. They Hawthorne got, by one point with 46 possession. seconds. Polling would have got possession. Quick Have kick. to be brave. Barco got it to Brown. Gives it back. No, he should have gone to Barco, but he laid it out really wide with the looping handball to side bottom. Barrels the ball towards Jesse White with Gibson. Does he get a good bounce? Maybe. No. Ball goes out of bounds with 34 seconds left on the clock. 33. It's been an unbelievable game of attrition. 112, 111. Hawthorne by the skin of their teeth. Live ladder ash. Hawthorne sitting third on the table. 33 seconds left. They lead it by one point. Hawthorne. Balls on the wing. Southern stand side of the ground. Hawthorne have got possession. Mitchell gave it wide here. Isaac Smith kicks a long ball up to the forward line. I'm not sure whether Collingwood can get there now. The ball's at half forward for Hawthorne. 15 seconds remaining here, and it is Hawthorne by one point. So they got the double chance, and a big game against their arch rival Geelong in two weeks. Collingwood have to be quick and clinical. Throw in, fall of the ball, Mitchell. 12 seconds to play. Gunston gets in the way. Under nine now. Smith just taken high by Chris. Tries to back out of a tackle. Does just that. Tumbles it inside, but the siren's about to sound. And Hawthorne! have managed to keep the Pies at bay and record a one-point nail-biting win and they secure the double chance in a big game against the Cats in two weeks.
Hawthorne fans elated. Where do they finish on the ladder, Ash? Yeah, third on the live ladder and secured the double chance. Crows sitting fifth will play off an elimination final. Okay. We're going to hear from their skipper, Luke Hodge, courtesy of Channel 7, in just a moment. But Hawthorne have won by a point in a thriller at the MCG here today. Let's go and listen to the skipper, Luke Hodge. Well, Collie will come out there, but their last few weeks have been pretty good. We knew that if we didn't defend properly, that was going to be for a challenge. And as you said, you don't believe the game coming in the last minute. How do you feel about Fitzpatrick in his uh, first game in Hawthorne? Kyle's kicking a goal like that. Yeah, it was good. Well, uh, when he lined up, when he uh, let go, I was just hoping he went towards goal. So we saw his first shot at goal. Everyone was like, what's going on? But he took a mark, he competed for us. And uh, that's all we asked. Well, Pino came in and did exactly the same thing, made a few big hits. But uh, not that goal by Fitz. You know, they're going to be telling us about it. Top four again. Obviously, that double chance, you know how important that is. Come up against the old enemy to catch. Yeah, yeah, look, it's uh, double chances. Uh, it's what you aim for at the start of the year. So obviously, looking at uh, Geelong. The other day they were pretty good, so uh, we have to go back and our intensity needs to lift a little bit more than what has been the last few weeks. Good luck in the next month, mate. Thanks, mate. Luke Hodge, courtesy of Seven. This is the Triple M review for DeWalt, guaranteed tough and available at Bunnings Warehouse. Hawthorne have won by one point today. Is this... Are you seeing a Premiership side in the Hawthorne side that we've seen today, Doug? Well, the Hawthorne have won six games this year by nine points or less. It has been... Say it, uh, say it again. They've won six games by nine points or less right. this year. So the field is closing. Well, it is. There's no doubt about that. Let's go and have a listen to Fitzy. Yeah, well, Big goal. Even, and I actually wasn't sure if we just needed a draw if we needed to win to get in the top four, but gave us a chance and we were able to get a point um, just to get the win. So absolutely stoked, mate. Obviously, you are going down. The big opportunities are opened up. I mean, you must be excited about the possibilities for the next month. Yeah, you know, Clarko and the Hawks, it's all just about um, playing your role. And, and um, one soldier goes out and another comes in. So all I want to do is just come in and play my role for the team. And hopefully, you know, today I was able to do that and uh, we were able to get the win just. Have you played the final before? I haven't, I haven't played. That was my third win, so... Well, mate, you're about to go up against uh, the Geelong Footy Club in front of about seven or 80,000 next uh, two weekends, two weeks' time. Enjoy it. No, no, I can't wait. Looking forward to it. That's a good point. So who is the fixture? What is the fixture? Who plays who, Ash? Here we go, BT. So the qualifying finals are as follows. Sydney taking on the Giants at ANZ Stadium. Geelong in the second. Hang on. Yep. Sydney taking on the Giants yep. at ANZ Stadium. Spot on, BT. Sydney Giants, yep. And then it's Geelong versus Hawthorne at the MCG in the other qualifying final. Geelong versus Hawthorne. Yep, and the yep. two elimination finals will be Adelaide versus North Melbourne at the Adelaide Oval. Yep. And then the Eagles will take on the Western Bulldogs at Domain Stadium in the other elimination okay. final. Okay, so from that we can gather that uh, the Thursday night game will be out of Adelaide North or West Coast Western Bulldogs. One of those games will be played on the Thursday. The Friday night certainty is Geelong Hawthorne as an absolute certainty. And the Saturday certainty is Sydney and GWS. All of that to be announced after the completion of the last game tonight, which is at around about 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Hawthorne today have won on a thriller by a point. Herald Sun Supercoach player points update, please, Ash. Thanks, BT. Trelaw, 149. Burgoyne at 128. Pendlebury, 119. And Grundy at 114. Thanks for our uh, post-game interviews there. Exitel, NBN, Broadband. By the way, every week, head to afl.com.au and place your vote for the coach hire goal of the year. Nathan Buckley, Swatter, just addressed the pies. Yeah. What do you think he said? I, 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 really, I think what he would say, Duck, is really proud of your efforts today. That's got to be the beginning of a big pre-season. Get ourselves fit, get ourselves healthy. We've proven today that we can challenge the three-time reigning Premier. Yeah, I think that, that would have been the message, BT. Okay, that, well, um, you know, th this is what you're capable of. Yep. This is what you're capable of. Hawks are handing out footballs, which is great to see. I did go to a game once <laughs> the when I saw the Western Bulldogs <laughs> hand out tea <laughs> towels. <laughs> and I was rather disappointed. You reckon I was disappointed? The kiddies were thoroughly disappointed. Uh, big game here today. Triple M Pettis, Performance Star Best on Ground Award. In camera at the moment, Duck. Give us two or three good players today. Oh, look, I thought Trelaw was sensational, as was, uh, as was side bottom. And uh, obviously Sam Mitchell... Hodge big in big moments in that last quarter, but, uh, geez, what a game. I thought Grundy was really, really brave in the ruck for Collingwood, but uh, you know what? It was a real even performance by both teams. Both had a real crack. It was a ripper. So Hawthorne in their last month have won just two games in the last month. 
But they win here today, give themselves a bit of momentum going forward. They needed a good win. I won't say this is a brilliant win, but they've won and they've given themselves a double chance. So I guess that's a very, very good position to be in. By the way, download the Macca's Little Wins app with the new Don't Argue game. Collingwood saying thanks to their people. It's the last time this year they'll see them. In fact, Hawthorne are going to end up inside the rooms before Collingwood end up inside the rooms, which is interesting. Well, not really. Well, it is a little interesting. Yeah. But uh, for me, uh, I know you're not easily interested. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go around the grounds, please, Ash. Yeah, it's half-time, BT, and it's the uh, Dockers leading the Bulldogs by 11.72 to 4.9. And, uh, Ash, uh, just the game's the game, please. Recapping the games yeah. in the week one of the finals. Thank you. Yep, yep. sure. Qualifying final. Yep. Sydney v GWS ANZ Stadium. Geelong taking on Hawthorne at the MCG. And the two elimination finals will be Adelaide versus North Melbourne at the Adelaide Oval and the Eagles to take on the Bulldogs over at the main. Robbo's downstairs inside the Hawthorne rooms, Robbo. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, so so exciting for Hawthorne to play against Geelong in that final, but I just noticed Jared Ruffhead before the boys come in here in tears with the hood over, so he's, uh, he's taking it quite uh, emotionally, uh, Ruffy, I tell you what, and he's doing it for his mates and he's doing it tough, but this is what that, uh, that, that win just over Collingwood meant to a senior player as they make their way in and uh, fantastic to, to think that the they kicked three goals, Hawthorne. I wrote in the book game over and then all of a sudden was level again several times and they'll sing long and hard about this because this sets up their finals campaign and they've been able to do this all year just to get over the line and that's a great side that can do that and this is a great side, don't worry. When you can stick in uh, two rookie ruckmen like that uh, and perform on the MCG as Al Clarkson just makes up the circle. And here they go, led by their skipper, Luke Hodge. Keep doing it. Yep, they do, Robbo. They finish top four. Uh, now, we've just seen something on Fox footy. Was that uh, the, the uh, announcement of games? I don't think it was. I think it might have been a prediction of prediction. John yep. Ralph. Yep. yep. So uh, there you have it. Swatter, what did you make of today? Oh, great game. It was a great game. Collingwood would be bitterly disappointed. Hawthorne, just as they have all year, have managed to find a way to win, and uh, they've got themselves a double chance. And we can look forward to a big final series. This is the last Sunday game is. that we will do. Uh, so thank you to the entire Sunday team, uh, Swatter. Yep, they have yep. been absolutely wonderful. Everyone here, everyone back in the studio has been incredibly helpful. Uh, to Robbo and Chew Man and uh, Jay Z, Jay Clark, who yeah, it's also a, yep, here as well. Been a big year. Yep. Yep. Been well a done, year. boys. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here. One point win to Hawthorne. What a thrilling final game for Hawthorne and Collingwood. 17 10 one, 12 Hawthorne defeated the Magpies 7-9-1-11. For McDonald's Triple M Rocks footy, here's Chris McKenzie with another M Sport update for the Master Builders Association of Victoria. K-Mac, take it away. Uh, thank you, Schwad. A great call today, guys. As usual, the Bombers have now confirmed their interest in Suns midfielder Jager Umbira after he told the Gold Coast he wants to be traded to a Melbourne club at the end of the year. Essendon coach John Walsfold has also revealed he believes Joe Watson will return to footy next season after his doping suspension, but has told Triple M footy the club doesn't want to rush the 31-year-old's decision. You don't want to get halfway through a pre-season and start questioning whether your passion's there or not. So he wants to make sure of that, and I think that's the wisest thing he can do and you know I keep in contact with him at the moment it's only via text message but when he's back I'm really looking forward to catching up and sitting down and talking about you know, what we achieved this year and what we want to achieve next year. Now Daniel Ricciardo hopes a strategic call to start tonight's Belgian F1 GP on the more durable soft tyre moves him up from fifth on the grid after being out qualified by Max Verstappen for just the second time. I think it is going gonna, gonna to help me but you know Max wanted his strategy you know and I wanted mine so we obviously both feel that we've got the best one uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, to have pulled it off. Hopefully I'm right, and, and if I am, then uh, I'll, be, I'll be up there tomorrow. Meantime, Jamie Winkarp has created history at the Supercast round at Eastern Creek today, becoming only the second driver behind Craig Lowndes to reach 100 series wins. To golf, Jason Day remains in the hunt at the PGA Tour playoff events in New York, but Adam Scott's now the best of the Aussies, moving two shots behind leader Ricky Fowler with a 6 under 65 in his third round. I played really great the first two days. I putted not well, and and, uh, that was the difference and that's been the story of my year since the Masters but I felt it's better
better than it's been and today was a nice day so hopefully I can carry that kind of momentum on the greens tomorrow and beyond. A report in the UK now claims Islamic State terrorists were planning to directly target Australia's cricketers during last year's planned tour of Bangladesh that was eventually postponed due to security concerns. Distance runner Genevieve Genevieve Lacaz has smashed the Australian record in the fastest women's steeplechase ever at the Diamond League meets in Paris overnight. And in the Premier League tonight, Manchester City will look for a win over West Ham to join Manchester United and Chelsea as the only teams with a perfect record after week three. Love footy? Then you won't want to miss the AFL Variety Great Grand Final Lunch on September 28 at Palladium at Crown. For more details, visit varietygreatgrandfinallunch.com. The Triple M footy game cast is partly cloudy and 15 degrees at Subiaco for the second half of the Dockers and Bulldogs up next. Thanks to Master Builders. Choose a builder. You know you can trust. Choose a Master Builder. After the Hawks beat the Pies by a solitary point today for McDonald's Triple M Rocks footy.